but not boat, not a, not a damn net. We'll find out. Oh, oh, we got one, got one, got one, got one. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. It's a beautiful morning. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy, and welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We'll be back for the vlog, y'all. Check it. Man, we got a special episode for you today. Cause today I'm doing my favorite new thing and that's called blue crabbing. Now I came to the spot before, hold on, let me, wait, wait, one, ah, one, one, there you go. So I came to the spot before, um, it's a little different. A little different than the last time I came because the water level is about four feet higher. Um, I don't remember rain in Texas in the last two years. So I'm not sure where all this water came from, but we'll see. So what I can do is still try to make it work. Um, we'll see if these higher levels will bring the crabs in. If not, um, we're gonna have to be eating McDonald's instead of a crab ball. This could be a catch, clean, and cook McDonald's edition. I don't know, but I think I can do it. I'm confident I can do it. Let go. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and get our nets ready together. Today I'll be using six drop double ring nets. Um, yeah, man. So if you've been watching my channel, there's been a whole evolution of crabbing. This might be the I think the fifth or sixth crabbing video on my channel. <laughs> I think the first three resulted in no crabs. Um, the next two after that, one crab. The fifth one was two crabs. My last video though, my last video, I ended up with 14 crabs. I'm learning, right? I continue to evolve, um, better my equipment, better things for adjustments, better my strategy. And it's been working today, man. Um, what I'll be using today is legs, drumsticks. I did like um, thighs, I did whole quarters but I find drumsticks to be working the best. Another thing that I also do is I tear the skin off the drumstick. Let them get, get to the actual meat. Now these drumsticks, um, they expired about a week ago. They have a like nice potent smell to it. <laughs> nice potent smell to it. So that's another thing I've been changing. So we're gonna go ahead and strap this down. So yeah, we'll see if the smelly drumsticks can produce. Like I said, I am worried about the water levels, but we'll see, man. I'm gonna play with it. So yeah, that's it. This one drumstick, smelly drumstick. We'll strap it to the post over here, get all six. Um, along with that, I'm also going to be uh, free lining. Now also I've evolved my free lining equipment because first, you know, when I bought it, it came with this like, you know, this string and like a little clip, right? The string is all like flimsy. It's hard to maneuver. I don't like it. So what I did was modification. Went to Amazon and bought kite holders, right? Kite holders. And I took off the clip that I bought from Amazon for my cram holders because you'll just stick this in the chicken, has a little weight along with the kite holder. Y'all see where I'm going with this? Yeah, so I can free line my shrimp oh, i'm sorry my crab legs properly i wonder what crabs eat shrimp because i know when i fish they do so yeah we're gonna have these going too i got three of these so we'll have six traps nets and we'll free line if i have time three free lines like i said i'm involving the goal today man the goal today is to beat my record of 14 crabs that i had last time i'm gonna have a nice crab boil for the family tonight um, I'll try to do a catch and cook if I am able to accomplish my goal. So we got a bit 14 today. So let's go ahead and start dropping these traps in this very hot water and hope we can get something. Not get skunk. Let go. All right, bird, don't crap on me. All right, y'all, let's get the party started. In addition to some new gear, I was using my fishing gloves, but those aren't waterproof. The fingertips are exposed. I was reaching for my crab nets and these pilliards getting splinters. So we upgraded waterproof like i say man you gotta work smart not hard man so we're going to take that route let's go and start dropping our pods keep calling them pods our nets <clears throat> all right whoa whoa another thing i definitely advise is mud boots Definitely mud boots. We'll skip every other pylon. 
I want to keep it close, but not too close. Like I say, once again, water is hella deep in comparison to what it normally is. So we don't gotta do nothing too crazy. Now, last time um, I checked my pods in 30 minute increments, but I think that's just entirely too long. So I wanna just try to test it out as far as how often I check my pods. Excuse me, y'all. It's getting cooler in Texas, but cooler in Texas for the fall means instead of 100 degrees, it's 90 degrees at like 7.30 in the morning. So yeah, um, instead of 30 minute increments, I'm gonna check them like in 10 and just kind of play it by ear from there. We'll check it in 10. Yeah, this water is a lot deeper than last time. I don't know if that's good or bad. I know one thing, I know that if this area sees rain, it's definitely flooding, like big time. I know there's a full moon, but even with the full moon, I don't know. Got my chicken wrapped up a little bit here. You in the middle, buddy. Even with the full moon, I'm not sure why the water level is super high. I know, you know what? There was a storm over the past couple of days, but that was like a few days ago. This area just must flood really bad. I do got my rod, but. I got my rod just in case, you know, just in case a school of bull reds just come through the, the bayou for some odd reason, I'll be ready. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you know, you gotta be like G.I. Joe, prepare for everything. And also another reason I got my rod, just in case one of my nets gets away from me, I can just hook it, snag it back in. This guy over here at the bridge, he's, um. He's just hand lining. It's funny how <laughs> I'm out here with these fancy nets, igloo, gloves, waterproof this, cameras, and other people, locals. He's just out here in some shorts, barefooted, with a piece of yarn and one net and one bucket. Gotta love it, man, gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. Okay, one more here. There you go. I do get a lot of luck on like hand lines, even though hand line is a lot harder by all means. There we go. So we'll see. Yeah, hand line it takes a lot more skill. If you do it by yourself specifically, you know what I'm saying? If you have a partner, it's a lot easier. A lot easier. Okay, get my string here. Put one more. And I'm a hand line like in between these other ones I'm tossing out. Got people already got screws in the pillars, which is good. Y'all see this right here? Can tie your hand lines to these. I brought some screws just in case, but apparently people have already been doing it. it Would be nice if they take off their old line. Some more trash around here. I'm gonna pick up too. Come on, y'all. Let's keep Texas beautiful. What I say? Don't mess with Texas, or you get shot. Ugh. All right, y'all. So I have my six nets. <laughs> really. Really? That's what we're doing? Anyway, I have my six next drop. It's currently 7.30. Um, we'll check them in 10 minute increments and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna get my hand lines out as well. 
I'm gonna explore this other area, kind of show y'all how flooded this area is. I don't know, man. I think they said like high tide is really good for crabbing, but this is ridiculous. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me get my hand lines out, put those out. We'll have all nine traps ready to go and see can we big 14. Time ticker, now. I said, ugh, gross. The flies are attracted to the smelly chicken. I think that's a good sign. I need poles with, poles with screws on them. And this will work here. It's deep, so. That'll work. Let's wrap it around here. This handy dandy bolt. Drop the rest there. You see that, man? We've been productive, y'all. Productive. <clears throat> Another thing is dealing with a bunch of raw old chicken. I even have my gloves start bringing water with me, too. I wonder if there are gators in here. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we shall find out. All right, now I can't wrap the thing in there with the chicken. There you go. All right, so once again, the kite thing, just clip it. Simple. If y'all remind me in the comments, I'll put the link in the description of where I bought these kites from on Amazon. All right, so the thing with the free line is, you know you have something if your line starts tensing up and moving out. Let's see, man. Two more minutes, we'll check our first trap and we'll see how productive it's gonna be. If we have a, if we have a crab on the first round after 10 minutes, we're gonna have a good day. Yeah. All right, 10 minutes, let's check the first traps. We'll see, man. This, this will probably determine how my day is gonna be. So get my time, 7.40. All right, y'all, let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh, rocks, rocks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Got one. Got a good one. Oh, my God. Got a small one there. We had a rider. Bro, this is a nice crab. But it was almost at the net. Got him. Got him. Keeper. There we go, y'all. First pull of the day. A beautiful huge crab might be my pb male i know it's legal but let's get a measurement on it uh, yes yeah this bad boy is probably almost it might be six and six and a half to seven inches male Six and a half and seven inches. First pull, he almost got out. One down. What, I gotta beat 14? 14 more to go? All right. Check our free line. This one, it looks like it's moving. It does look like it's moving. Either that's a stick or a crab. Either there's a stick. Oh, yeah, it's definitely something on there. Definitely something on there, y'all. I can see it, but can it see me? Oh, that's the creeper. Got it. Got it. You. Yeah. yeah. Nice keeper, bro. Nice keeper, bro. Hold on. Let go, let go, let go. There we go. There we go. All right, y'all. This is almost a six and a half, seven. The, boy, these crabs are big today. I can't believe I got it on the free line. Let's put it in the cooler and get another one. All right, this one don't have like, a lot of tension on it. Oh, 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 it does, it does. Okay, something on here, y'all. Definitely something on here. 
feels nice. Feels nice. Oh, careful right now. Don't let go. Don't let go. <clears throat> Got it. Got it. Oh, they turned that chicken up. I love this crab gauge. Makes things so much simpler. Yep. Another keeper, y'all. Let's put it in a bucket. All right, we're good. Oh man, it's so hot. All right, y'all. So, all right, y'all. So, um, first round was ten minutes. I had one keeper on the net. Um, two keepers on the free line. The free line seems to trap crabs faster for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm thinking maybe I need to do check my net in 15 minute increments. Let me see, it's 40, 45, 50. All right, it's been about 10 minutes since I checked my nets again. And um, I'm gonna try it again in 10 minutes. If 10 minutes it doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and try 15 minutes and just keep pushing out in five minute increments and see what I can do because if 10 minutes is too soon sorry I'm sweating if 10 minutes is too soon we'll try 15 20 25 and 30 at the max I'm looking at my free line over here check this out man I think something's already messing with it hold on y'all we got interrupted by somebody about to get eight oh yeah there's something on here already y'all oh yeah definitely something on here oh wait 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 oh it's pulling it is mad y'all it is so mad and it's big it is huge it is huge oh ah <laughs> got away that was a nice one the agent dude's over there laughing at me it's all good yeah this side is just as deep there's a whole little pier right here can't even see it i know there were people over here like freelining and they were killing it so i think the ones i have on the far right i want to bring some over here let's see how that does Must a mullet. I know that area probably be good for freelining, but I got waders, but I ain't getting in this water. I don't know if there's any gators out here or nothing. We'll relocate two of the traps. Two of the traps over here. Yeah, one here and one there. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's relocate a couple of traps over here on this side, the pier side. Let's see if we have any better luck. Gross. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start checking these free line. <laughs> See the crab nets, maybe like every 15 minutes. But these free line, man, they turn my bait up. That's gotta be like every 10 to five minutes, honestly. But got another one. Got another one. Got another one. A little bit higher. go two for one baby two for one baby <sighs> what <sighs> bro okay <sighs> I love the drop nets right easy convenient quick but look it has a little female with it we'll let her go a male coming home though. Let me let y'all check it out. Tree line is producing, y'all. Yeah, look at that one. Nice. Big male. Holy smokes. Look at that, y'all. That is a beautiful crab. Unreal, right? Nice, bro. 
Gonna have some meat on that bad boy. Free line is absolutely killing it, man. All right, bet. This is probably PB, but you know, just for show. We do the measurement. She's probably like five. It's almost a seven. Probably a seven incher. Let's put her in, in the cooler. Keep checking our crabs. All right, y'all. I moved another one of my nets over there because nothing's happened over here. This one looks like it has another one. Yep, it does. Definitely does. I got too excited. That's my fault. Got too excited. Calm down. Act like you've been in an end zone before. Act like you've been here before. Come on right now. Patience, baby. Patience. Act like you've been here before. Put it back in. Get it back. I gotta be more slow, man. I gotta take my time. I get excited and... Nah, bro, just relax for now. You are smarter than these damn crabs. Period. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah, what I'm learning on this trip is that freelining is gonna have to be my main source of catching crabs and my nets are gonna be secondary. All right, there's something on here. Take your time right now. Do not rush it, baby. Don't rush it. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. Take your time, baby. Take your time. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, baby. Take your time. I don't know about this boat ramp, y'all. <laughs> so I look super sketch. I think this would be a great place to free line, but not boat, not a, not a damn net. We'll find out. Oh, oh, we got one, got one, got one, got one. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Boat ramp. He almost got away. <sighs> Boy, y'all see that? It's just not, not a female. Male. Keeper. Boat ramp. Let's go. See, this is why I told you. Bring your bucket. <laughs> Bring your bucket, baby. Nice, muddy. Bet. I might have to make, bring some more over here. Let's get a gauge on it. Oh, this is solid. Solid, baby. Whoa, watch your balls right now. Watch your balls on me. Oh, yeah. He probably six and a half. Like a six and a half keeper. I'm gonna toss this net back in. I might have to relocate over here. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I just dropped this boat ramp one. I wasn't filming, but fell in the hole. <laughs> fell in the hole. <gasps> wow. Let's go. Keeper. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go on the boat ramp. Let's go, y'all. Mel, all muddy browns. We're gonna have some meat in it. All right. We're about to relocate to this damn boat ramp. I'm about to line them up on a boat ramp. Just gotta watch some holes so I don't lose my life. 
come on. Did it let go? Why is this line so long? Check out crab pot. It feels like something hit. Whoa! Oh my god! What? Yeah. We have the biggest mullet I have ever freaking seen. Oh my god. Bro, this one got some tension on it. Oh yeah, that's something on that one. Yeah, that's something on that one. 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 Come on. Hold your neck now. Easy. 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 Got it. What? Wow. Solid. Solid, y'all. Solid. Look at that. Nice one. Bet. All right, y'all. Another keeper. Look at it. Nice muddy and brown. Let's get a measurement on it. Oh yeah, that's solid, bro. That's probably six inches. Six inch keeper right there. I'm almost out of chicken. The free lines. The free lines are killing it, man. Free lines are absolutely killing it. I'm at the buy some more damn free lines. Let's put it in the bucket. Let's go. Let's go. Boy, I was just about to replace this chicken too. And a monster took it. Yes. Yes. All right, let's throw him in the bucket. There we go. Another male, get gauge on it, and it's, well that's probably the biggest one of the day. This is almost six, seven inches. That's a nice, nice crab, y'all. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, That's a nice one, on the reach baby we got on that uh. the boy did the Jordan what crabbing is muddy male oh he almost got away almost got away let's get a measurement on him solid solid oh yeah like five and a half and cooler she goes all right y'all time Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. My battery's about to die. I'm almost out of chicken. I need one more damn crab. There's one more crab, man. I got I mean, like three chicken left. There's one. Is it? One. I can go home. I can go home and eat. Before I eat, I can go home and take a shower. Get in my air conditioner. Just one more, man. Just one more right now. So I'm asking myself, like, how long are you willing to sit out here until you hit your goal? The answer is forever. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving here until I hit my goal. If I have to stay here for another eight hours, catch one damn crab, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. I don't wanna be out here at night. I'm pretty sure there's alligators out here. One more. 
Let's go. One more. One more, one more. Oh, it feels heavy. Yes. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Looks like we got two. We might have two keepers. We might have two keepers, y'all. This is 100% a keeper. Oh, man. Almost six inches. Five and three quarter. It's number 15. It's number 15, y'all. <laughs> that is a new record for me. Number 15. Let's go. But wait. There's more. Let's go. Another keeper. 16 does it, baby. Said out to my homeboy, Travis, AKA Real Estate Mindset. He told me, come out here and catch 16 today. My goal was 15, but I did 16 for you, Travis. Let's go. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Let's freaking go. Boy, that is a beast. Like seven inches right here, bro. 16, 16. We can go. Now I said. All right, y'all. Go with Matt, baby. Go today with beat 14. We got 16 in the bucket. 16 in the bucket, baby. 16 in the bucket, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, y'all. 16 in the bucket. Some nice crabs. What she doing? Watch, watch out. Don't be tacking. Don't do it. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it, baby boy. Don't do it. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and act like I'm about to go home. Let me act like I'm about to go home. I'm tired, but I want to do something different with this catch and cook. The last time I just threw them in their hole. This time I want to actually clean them before I cook them. That means that I'm going to have to dispatch them while they're alive. Should be pretty entertaining. I don't think you want to click off the video right now. I don't think you want to click off the video right now. So back to the crib, man. I need to get my other traps. If I happen to get some more crabs, I'll be back. If not, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Yeah. All right, y'all back at home. Let's check on our crabs, man. I want to make sure they're still alive, which is super important before I put them to sleep. So let's check, see how they're doing. How y'all doing? Y'all alive? Whoa, whoa, okay. Yep, oh, 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 okay, 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 baby. Okay, you got it. You got it, Chuck. You got it, you got it. All right, y'all, so yeah, I'm definitely um happy my crabs are still alive, unlike the last time I cooked them. Um, I pretty much buried them in ice this time. I have my uh, little igloo block to keep them, you know, active and lively. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. So what I'm gonna have to do now is cover them in ice for about an hour. Make sure I keep my cooler drain plug out so it can drain out the water. I don't want to drown my crabs to keep them alive. We're gonna put them in a hibernated state to rip their heads off and cut out the, the gills. See you in the kitchen. I'll be looking better too. There you go. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, the catch. Welcome to the best part, the clean and cook. And I say the best part because I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm gonna attempt to clean live crabs. All right, that's right, y'all. Last time I just threw the crabs in whole. Don't have to worry about no fuss and buzz. This time I kept my crabs alive with a different method. I'm using ice igloo blocks so I don't drown my crabs by putting them on ice itself. Um, I just put them on ice now, as y'all saw in the previous clip, to kind of put them to sleep. So now this will be all lethargic as um, I try to dispatch them. Now I have never cleaned live crabs before, y'all. So I did what everybody does. I went to YouTube to see how to do it. It seems simple enough. I think I can do it. You know, I'm a man, I'm a G, I got this, I got this. And we'll see how it goes, man. Something else that I wanna try um, every time I do my crab and cook episodes with crabs is to cook them differently, right? So last time I did them whole, this time I wanna clean them before I cook them. Um, you know, some people prefer the crab butter 
aka crab mustard, aka guts. It's just guts, y'all. It's not crab fat. Um, it's, a, it's an acquired taste, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't say whether or not I like it or dislike it. So the only way I can test it out is let me clean my crabs out great, then cook them and see if I like the difference. Oh yeah, in the feature, also boiling them versus steaming. I know people in Maryland steam, I don't know. I tried to steam some snow crabs before. I thought they were, it's not the same, man. Just boiled seems better, but we'll try that on another episode. As of now, let me show you what I'm gonna throw in my pot. We're gonna get it done, I'm, I'm confident. Let's go. All right, y'all, so let me show you everything I'll be using today to do my boil. I'll be using my waterproof gloves that y'all saw me out on the field to help dispatch the crabs. Got my favorite corn, of course. Um, I got this little scooper thing. When I put my corns and potatoes in, it's, it's, it's hell trying to get them out with some tongs. So I'm just gonna use that to scoop it. Um, got my petite gold potatoes instead of red. I'm gonna try this. I seen another YouTuber put these in here, little smoky sausages. I wanna say the YouTuber name was Tug Trash Outdoors. Tug Trash Outdoors, if that wasn't you, still shout out, man, you got a cool channel. Um, we're gonna do a little garlic salt. We got the Louisiana crab and shrimp boil syrup. I got my favorite Louisiana crawfish seasoning. That's all you gotta do, bro. This right here is all you really need. I'm gonna put a few lemons in there to squeeze that in there. I'm gonna throw an onion in there as well. I've seen some other people do it. Of course, we got our little crab utensils here. Now, um, you're probably wondering what this toothbrush is for. There's another YouTube couple that I love watching. I'm addicted to it. They call it Old Couple Outdoors. Old Couple Outdoors. They do a lot of crabbing together. It's, it's an old couple that, that's outdoors. And one of the tricks that they use is a toothbrush to clean the interior of this crab. So I'm gonna try that as well. Got my little knife, scissors, do my onions. So yeah, man, this is all that we need for a boil. Nothing too complex, but simple enough that it's gonna be delicious. Cute. All right, y'all, so I know this is um, what everybody has been waiting for. Me trying to clean live crabs for the very first time. Yeah, if y'all know me, this might not end well. So let's get our crabs. I'll try to at least demonstrate one of them. So like I said, my boy right here is still alive. I caught these crabs between 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. this morning. Um, they've been on ice for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Um, a lot of people say you want to definitely keep your crab alive when you cook them. I'm not sure even if you put them on ice, you know, how long they are good for, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so here's the start of our show, Mr. Krabby. All right, hold on, let me get some proper lighting. There we go. Now, the first thing we want to do is we have this apron thing right here, right? Now I have this, which is a pumpkin carver. I'm just curious to see if it works. I heard some people say like you can actually use their own, what is this, legs to do so, but I wanna try the pumpkin carver. So we're gonna take off. Okay, let's see. okay, that works, there we go, oh. Okay, so pumpkin carver does work. See that? And she may wanna look away. So let me try this bigger pumpkin carver. They say taking off the apron first makes it a little bit easier to take off the top of the head. So we'll do that. All right, next what we're gonna do is turn around the crab. We're gonna grab the legs as so, like that, right? And we're gonna pop the top. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you're gonna be delicious. And you can tell it's gonna be worth it. All right. So once again, we have the legs here, right? And the claws. And allegedly, I should be able just to pull the head off as so. The most humane way to do it. So we'll find out. So pop the top. Don't want to tear my legs up. Okay, first thing I'm noticing, it's a little bit harder than I thought. I'm worried about my the legs coming off and not the head. Oh, let me angle up. I seen the old couple outdoors, they kind of put it on the side of the sink to get some leverage and just kind of, ah, there we go. And that's it. That is it. So next, what we're gonna do, hold on. All right, so after you pop the top, 
I want to take off the face right here. His paw just, just lost the claw. It's all right. Lost the claw. Still good though. Still good though. All right. So next we have the gills, as you can see here, right? These are the gills. Let's use a spoon to scrape the gills off. Just like that. All right. So the gills are now scraped off right there. Okay. So next, like I say, the interior part right here, people refer to that as crab butter, uh, crab mustard, guts. You know, it's a preferred taste. I'm not sure if I prefer it, but what we're gonna do, get started, is kind of rinse it out. Now, if you see the crab still moving, that's just nerves at this point. So once again, y'all, like I say, Old Couple Outdoors, what they use is a toothbrush to be able to um, clean out the crab, the interior. So let's just try to see if it works. Oh, okay. Nice. You know what? Like a charm. Like an absolute charm. Get them guts out. Yeah, I'm really excited that this is working out so well. I mean, I did lose a leg, but that leg is still edible. So we'll see. Get the guts. That's it. And just like that, y'all, you have a pretty white, fresh, clean crab. It's really that simple. So now we don't have all that guts and all the other stuff and crab butter. Mm -mm. We just got fresh crab meat and that's it. All right, y'all, so I have um, about 15 more to go of this. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta be careful because even though, like I said, the nerves are moving, them bad boys can still get you. So 15 more to go, we'll throw it in a bucket. I'll, I won't, I'll, I'll spare you seeing me do this 15 times. And um, yeah, we'll meet you at the pot. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I wanted to show you the finished product. This is about, I don't know, this is about 15, 15, to 15 to 20 pounds of fresh crab. I'm not gonna lie, man. After cleaning all those crab, it took me about 30 minutes seeing all the stuff that was coming out of it i think i prefer cleaning them <laughs> versus just throwing them in whole so we'll see man um game changer for sure toothbrush man using a toothbrush to scrub all the interiors out look how clean it gets sorry about that so yeah toothbrush for sure let's go start throwing these in the pot and yeah i'm gonna grub you yeah. all right y'all so we have our 16 crab nice and clean let's start working on our pot and we need to go into the pot so what we're gonna do is first of all throw a couple of sticks well these are half sticks so you can definitely say one stick of butter into the pot bought a new i think it's a 32 quart pot because you know i'm doing a lot of crabbing so i need some bigger pots like they say we're gonna need a bigger boat yeah, I bought this pot at Kroger's. It comes with a 32 inch, 32 quart um, pot and another 10 quart pot, two of them. It's on sale for like $54.99 right now. But yeah, the, the other one was just too small. So we're gonna throw one stick of butter or if you do two half sticks for step one. Next, a little garlic salt just a tad remember the louisiana season is where the majority of our flavor is going to be coming from our flavor profile we're going to put some of this louisiana concentrate crawfish crab boil they say you're supposed to go light on this you know i'm from texas so <laughs> oh yeah i can already feel my sinuses opening up all right, next, go some, some lemons in there. So we'll go real quick right there. I have a squ squeezer, you know what I'm saying? I'm fancy like that. There we 
go. And we're just gonna throw the whole thing in there too. So we got three lemons. Ouch. All right, I'm trying to hurry up. It's getting late. It's already 11 o'clock at night. Like I said, my day started. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to start getting ready for this crab boil, catch and cook. Two. All right, one more lemon. I don't know if you gotta throw the whole lemon in there after you squeeze it, but you know, to each his own. Couldn't hurt. <clears throat> I'm not gonna drop my lemon in it like I did last time. Learn my lesson from that. One more. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I got that. Got our lemon. Next, the star of the show, Louisiana Crawfish Bowl. Okay, see here. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to, <laughs> supposed to use, but I'll just put the whole thing in, to be honest with you. There we go. One of those. All right, so we got the Louisiana Crawfish Bowl. Gonna throw an onion in there too, just for show. Onion for flavor. I mean, who doesn't like onions? Crazy people. Crazy people don't like onions. That's that's the answer to that question. So we're just gonna dice them up. Like that. Put that in there. Yeah, now we cooking, baby. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> All right, y'all, so, <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so the last time I cooked crab whole, I looked online and when you Google, how long do you cook crab online? It says 20 minutes. I'm part of like some Facebook groups about crabbing. Yeah, I'm serious about it, right? And I asked like, how long do you boil your crab for? There's so many different answers to this question on how long you should boil your crab for. Some people would like five minutes, some people would like eight minutes, 15 minutes until it turns red. Some people are like, oh, you know, eight minutes, then throw some ice buckets or ice jugs into it. So with multiple answers, I'm going with the median. It seems like eight minutes, right, is the go-to. I'm sorry, y'all, this season is ain't no joke. So we'll boil them for eight minutes, then we'll let them soak. We'll let them soak for 22 minutes, I'm dying. I'm literally dying right now. Okay, there we go. All right, one onion, check. So we got a butter, concentrate, seasoning. Next up, potatoes. Think about potatoes, petite potatoes, about 12 minutes. So with that being said, if I'm gonna do my crab at eight, potatoes at 12, I need to set a timer for four minutes to know when to put the crab in. My corn is normally about five minutes. There we go. Bet. Set a timer, four minutes. There we go. All right, <clears throat> after that, the only thing we have left is to add our corn last, our crab for eight minutes, and <clears throat> these little smoky sausages. How long do you cook these for? They're already cooked technically because they're smoked, huh? Fully cooked. I guess long enough to, we'll put it in with the crab for about eight minutes. All right, I'll be back. I need to get some water. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's been about four minutes, so now, oh my God. <clears throat> so, 
So now we can put our crab in, our sausage, and our corn. So let's put the sausage in. Oh, okay, don't want to get burnt. <clears throat> Next we'll put star to show and crabs. Oh man, it's weird because they're still like twitching, but once again, y'all, there's nerves, they're not alive. Once you dispatch that head, it's instant. The good thing is, like I said, it really lethargic from the ice bath. I was really thinking about like how long should I, you know, soak them in ice because you don't want to keep them ice out there on the field. If you do, you want to make sure you put like a cloth over your ice and set your crabs on top of that. Make sure your cooler spout is open so the water drains because you don't want to drown your, cra your crab. There we go. Oh man, this is a lot of crab. <laughs> I'm excited, man. This is going to be so good. I know it. I know it. Oh, my arm. Yo, it's a lot of work being a YouTuber. Imagine when you go fishing and crabbing, how much work it is. Imagine doing all that stuff you do and now to get video of everything you do. Then come home and do more video. But you know what? I love it though. I really do love it. Love being a YouTuber. Content creator, as I like to call myself. All right, y'all. There we go. That is 16 keeper crab. We got a lot of corn. So let's go and put our corn in. And we just want to hope to get this to a, <coughs> a roaring bowl of boil. <coughs> okay. Oh man, that's crazy, boy. That's seasoning. I mean, realistically, y'all, that concentrate syrup, you post probably like maybe a couple of tablespoons. I did like a quarter of a cup. That Louisiana seasoning for something this big, probably supposed to be like half a bag. I did an entire bag. YOLO. I don't care. All right, we almost done. Got about eight corn in here. Just snap them in half. Oh my God. Done. Oh man, that's so much work. Let me see if I can give y'all a better look. Hold on. Camera here. All right, y'all. So that is everything in there. Nice. Believe it or not, there's crab under there with some potatoes and sausages and all the other good stuff. All right, cool. Let's turn up. Start our timer. Is that hot right now? For eight minutes. Then we'll let it soak for 22, apparently. All right. We'll let it boil for eight minutes, okay? Once we let it boil for eight minutes, we're gonna let it seep and soak and all that seasoning goodness for about 22 minutes, make it even 30 minutes. Yeah, that sounds good, right? <laughs> if all goes well, we should have a really good money shot. If not, then um, I did all this for nothing. I'll see you at the money shot, y'all. Peace. <laughs> All right, y'all, so it is time for my favorite part of the episode, the taste test. Y'all see this right here? This represents 18 hours of work today. Let's see if it's worth it. Get a little butter here. All right, here we go, here we go. Man. Ooh, it's like food porn. All right, hold on, hold on. Mm. Yes, Lord. Won't he do it? 
Oh, it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Another thing is that I think I'm definitely team clean crab before you cook it. I mean, it just that meat just ready to get dove into, no guts, no glory. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it, man. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, still give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment below your favorite part of the video. And also, man, if you wanna see me go on some more fishing adventures, crabbing adventures, when the winter comes, I'll be taking some camping adventures. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, man. It's going down, boy, this is about to go down. Once again, my name is Raynell Roy, AKA Fishing Trips. It's been real, y'all. I'm out. All right, y'all, so it's about 6.30 a.m. We've got about 30 minutes before the sunrise comes up, so I'm gonna get my crab pot set up. Now, I'm doing something a little different this time. Um, if you watched any of my previous, you know, crabbing videos, I had those really big crab nets I got from Academy. Some people were calling them pure nets for like $19.99. I don't think they're effective, man. I went crabbing about four times, caught about a total of four crabs. I'm averaging one crab per trip. So I decided to upgrade and buy some more new nets, something a lot smaller more convenient like this as you can see so yeah I think it's gonna be more practical you know it's not as large it's only about one third of the weight of the previous ones I'm gonna have my chicken with a little clip there on this one I still have five total on this one I'm still trying to debate or figure out whether or not I like the bait clips or the bait bags we'll figure that one out later I think the bait bags would be good for like, you know, fish carcasses and stuff like that, shrimp heads or whatever. But for now, I'm definitely going with the clips. So we're just going to set our crab pods up. Um, hopefully get set up by sunrise. One more thing. Hold on. Let me check it out. Now also, while I'm setting my crab nets down, I'm also going to be doing something else. I'm going to be hand lining. Hand lining crabs, right? Put your chicken drumstick here, toss it out, wait, pull it, come back with net, try to scoop it up. I can already feel myself getting upset at this whole process, but I'm gonna try. So yeah, with a combination of five crab nets out, me tossing, I mean, I got these, four of these out. I got crab coming home. I got a total of, what, one, two, three, nine traps. All right, I should get at least one crab per trap. That's the goal today, man. The goal today is nine crabs, keeper crabs. Let me round up, because I like even numbers. I'm trying to get 10 keeper traps today. That's the code today. I mean, personally, I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go. All right, y'all, if y'all want to really see what I'm doing. All right. I kind of checked out in a Facebook group, like Texas crabbing or something like that. Somebody said that leave your chicken out for some days to get it all nice and stank. This is fresh chicken. This is a last minute trip. Somebody also suggested to take the skin off the drumstick. Okay, so I might not have like week old chicken, but I'm just pulling the skin off the drumstick, allegedly. So yeah, um, what do y'all find is the better bait? Is it fish or is it crab? All right, so here's my bait clip. Just gonna just stick this along here. There you go. I feel like I can fit like two. I put one or two. Probably should put two. We'll start with one though. I don't want to overkill it. But I don't want to underdo it either. Can I fit two on here? Because you know if it's if it's multiple crabs, I don't think crabs like to share. So if they don't like to share then 
we'll try to put two drumsticks per trap. There we go. Got my gloves on. So happy that I realized that every time I was putting my chicken on my bait, my hands would get super slimy. I don't have nowhere to wash my hands. And I hate getting my hands all dirty dealing with my camera equipment. Perfect. Gotta hurry up, man. Gotta catch the sunset. Although I have not been catching crabs with my previous crab traps, I do feel that I am getting more efficient setting up my crabs, traps, <laughs> and whatnot. There we go, perfect. Definitely already love these smaller crab pods. A lot easier to set up. They're a lot lighter. Yeah, man. So allegedly, when you drop them, right, they fall. Allegedly, this buoy right here floats to keep my line up. Let the crab walk in. Boom. I mean, it's not rocket science, y'all. It's only crabbing. It was so damn easy. I don't know why it's so damn hard to catch them. All right. Whew. Light work, light work. All right. Now with these hand lines, I need like a stick, something to tie it around so it doesn't go floating away. I'll probably tie it to, um, I got some clips. I'm tied around the dock. Or oh, my jetty cart, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna test one of these out, this one to get started with. So once again, I'm peeling out the skin. There we go. Uh, these little hooks are like a smaller version of the big clips on my nets, but it still works. Clip that down, and that's it. So all you have to do at this point is toss it, and you're good to go. It has a little weight, all right, with the bait hook thing. I know, I know most people just use thread tied around, but I, you know what, I'm fancy, man, I'm fancy. I'm bougie and fancy. Let's just toss it out. So I'm just gonna just set up one of those for now. I just wanna get a feel for it before I kinda worry about the rest. So let me go ahead and hit the pier. We'll set up our five pods. As we set up our five pods, we'll start hand lining and try to get our, our go. 10 caps, caps, not caps, crabs today right now. 10 crabs today. I can do it. Let go. Ankle. I'm gonna do my first one close to shore. Here we go. All right, y'all. Now I actually practice this whole setup at home to make sure I know what I'm doing. Chicken's in a good position. This thing has no railing. Remember that, Renell, or you're gonna die. How deep is it? My lanyard's 10 feet. Okay, it's good. Wrap around the piling. Clip on. set first pot is set let me check it one more time make sure it looks good drop it slowly and we're set all right y'all simple enough and we're good there we go we'll try the opposite current side this one has two
wrap it along. All right, y'all, so we have my five net set. It's currently 6.54. It only took me like 10 minutes to, to set up the whole process. Way easier in comparison to them big Academy ones. It took like 30 to 45 minutes. Let's do the handline one and um, get upset. I can feel it now. It's tied up a little bit. Nothing too special. There we go. And she's good. Bet. <laughs> People make crabbing like it's, like it's hard or something, man. Z's, it's light work. All right. Time is it, 7.07? All right, I think it's been about 20, 25 minutes since I set my pods out on my crab nets, I'm sorry. We're gonna do a quick check on all of them. If the spot is hot, I might have one already. If not, I might have to check in like 30 minute increments. So let's see. We'll come back to that one later too. Let's go. All right, can't jump in front of my camera. Messed up my time lapse stop. But this one's been sitting for about 30 minutes. Here we go. Come on. Come on, crab. Come on, crab. <gasps> Y'all, sh shut the front door. We got one, baby. Okay. First mistake, I'm not prepared because I don't have my tongs close. Nope, nope. Just stay right there, buddy. All right, remember now when you check your crab pods, get your damn bucket. All right, here we go. Oh, there's some mean bugger, huh? Man, you don't like that, do you? There you go. All right, y'all. Got our first crabberoli, crabatuli. Here, you know what I'm saying? Let's check the gauge. See if it's legal. Tip to tip. Yep, she is a keeper. Right there, y'all. See? Even with the tip missing. Yeah, that's good. She's probably like five and a half. Yeah, this is a keeper. It is a male kind of yellow got some meat to it this is gonna make at least one sandwich I'm excited y'all didn't get stuck you yeah. feel it optimistic I should try that tea at the deeper part of the pier or are they closer to the rocks I'm not sure yet it's the same we're just experimenting trying to figure it out one part at a time Go, 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 go. Oh, y'all, y'all, we got a good one, baby. We got a good one. Why does that chicken look so trash? This is delicioso muy crab. Stone crab, baby. Stone crab is like a blue crab on steroids. They taste even better. Oh, you're gonna be one of those, huh? There you go. Just relax, my guy. Just relax. There you go. All right, y'all. Once again, from the tip of the first. All right. Now, with the stone crab, you can keep the right tip, but it has to be two inches from the joint. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can only keep the right claw. Oh, the, oh only the right claw. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did not know that. Mm hmm. All right, and with the right claw, I'm just realizing I just measured the left one. So this one is two, two and a half. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is the regulation two inches or two and a half inches for the right claw only? Y'all give me a second, let me check the regulations. 
because I'm not going to jail for no damn crap. Okay, Google. What is the regulation for stone crab in the state of Texas? According to Texas Farm to Table and Local Food Guide by Texas Real Food, size limits. Blue crabs must be at least five inches across the carapace to be legally harvested. Stone crabs must have a minimum claw size of 2.5 inches. Uh -huh. Even then, only one of its claws can be removed for legal purposes. There you go, 2.5 inches. I need to also check. I believe it's on the right, not the left for some reason. I'll be back. All right, look, I'm back, y'all. His left one, plenty of meat, good eating. His right one is, is legal. It is legal. A little bit over two and a half inches, about two and three quarter. But since it's not looking like that, I'm going to put her back. Put him, him back, her back. I'm going to put her back. It's your lucky day, buddy. Your lucky day. It feels good out here, man. I'm, I'm bobbing, y'all. During the summer when it's hot, it's like a thousand degrees, man, my, my nerves be like crazy. Now, with this nice cool breeze, I'm chilling. I'm actually chilling. I might get my chair out, sit down, and relax. Enjoy the moment. I mean, look at my view right now. How can you not feel at peace when this is what you see? No complaints. I do want some crabs, but I still got no complaints. Speaking of crabs, I'm just realizing um, I do have one, which so I could cut and use it for bait but I want to eat it. I don't want to use it for bear. I want to eat it. All right, y'all, spot number two. It's looking promising. Somebody said, come check this spot out. I went to this spot, but a different version of this spot. It must have been the, um, I would call that the hood spot area, but this is the other spot. This also looks pretty hood, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I've actually physically, visually see crabs, like right there. This is promising. This is very crabby. I'm just not really comfortable around this area. I don't know this spot. I don't know if I'm in the hood. I don't know if I'm in the suburbs. I mean, it, it looks better than the other spot I went to. The other spot was super sketch. I thought I was gonna get ran up on. So I see crabs. I'm going to try to woosa. Keep cool and catch some crabs in the spot. <laughs> Let go. I don't want to shoot nobody, I swear. Let's run another one. Go, 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 go. Bam! Got him. We got us a keeper, baby. There you go. Alright, y'all. So, definitely got a keeper. Nice, pretty male. No claws, but I'm going to eat them. Scale. This is huge biggest crab I caught is probably close to six or seven inches let's put it in a bucket yeah sorry y'all my apologies I promise you my breath don't stink get a measurement um I got like maybe three keepers that's about it so far been out here about an hour yes ma'am This one? Oh, for real? I saw that. It was a big one, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's my first time out here at this spot, so. Oh, yeah, there's some nice crabs out here. Oh, for real? Uh huh. But that one's out there deep. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There we go, y'all. I think we got two, possibly two keepers. So, boy. There we go. There we go. Let's check out what we got. Alright. So this one definitely looks like a keeper. Yep, keep. 
keeper. Oh, a little bit too small. It's about four and three quarters. Yeah. All right, buddy. Just let go and you're born free. Hey, here we go again. All right, ready? Deeper lanyard. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, another keeper. Deeper is the ticket. Deeper is definitely the ticket. Oh no, oh no. He's trying to get away. There we go. All right, another keeper. Yep, it's about five and a half. Male. In the bucket she goes, y'all. I don't know what kind I'm at, but I'm doing good. Here we go. Number three. Go. Oh, we got one, got one, got one. Might be a keeper. She is, he is a male. Yep. Another keeper, y'all. All right, y'all, so my morning, I think I hit the water at, was it 6.30 a.m.? It's currently 5, 5, Jesus Christ, 1.31 p.m. I'm committed to staying here until I hit my goal of 10, 10 blue crabs. I gotta get 10. I mean, I caught more than 10, but to be specific, 10 keepers. So, um, it's getting hot. Got plenty of water left, so I'm good on that. I bring three 64 can canisters. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I say it every video. <laughs> but this is what I bring to hydrate. 64 ounces. These two are empty now. So I still got a full 64 ounce canister left. Um, two. I just gotta get two more. All right, so I check it at 30 minute increments. It's now 1.30. Let's go ahead and um, check them all. See if we can get to, let's go. All right, here we go. In 30 minutes. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it. We had a rider and this bad boy here. Go in the water, I'm not gonna hurt you. Bro, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, little man? Go, go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> go in the water. All right, I'll help you out. This, this, not the rope. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Keep it low. Keep it low. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Oh. Yes. It's not a keeper. All right, y'all, time to do another round of checking my nets. Like I said, baby, I just need, I just need one, one keeper to hit my goal. And if I hit my goal, I may or not. We're still recording. All right, let's go. The spot is getting hot over here, man. I need to throw my net over there somehow. Here we go. Go, 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 Yes, got one, got one, got one, got one. And it looks like a keeper. And it looks like a keeper. 
and it looks like a keeper and it looks like a keeper let's go let's go let's go all right y'all let's check this out this might be the one that we need to hit our goal it's a male you see it's gonna be close here we go yes oh my god we did it we did it keeper keeper the goal today is 10 blue crabs i have not caught 10 crabs my entire life of crab fishing but i caught 10 in one day today we did it man i don't know what's gonna be next for this video i still gotta check three more nets what time is it? It's coming up on 2 o'clock. I want to do a catch, boil, and cook. Wait, catch, clean, and boil on 10 crabs. It's amazing, man. It's a grind, though. Thumbs up, man. Thumbs up the video. For, for having me out here, being out there. Damn, I'm delirious. I can't speak. Thumbs up the video for me being out here grinding. Comment below. What's your favorite part about this video? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll be out here grinding, man. And guess what? You want to subscribe to my channel because I'm only going to go harder come fall once this weather gets a lot lighter. We did it, man. If this is the end of the video, I'll see y'all on the next one. If it's not the end of the video, I might see y'all in my kitchen or I could see y'all in a couple of seconds to check my other pods. Yeah! Here we go. All right, now. You gotta go quick, hard, and upwards. Quick, hard, and upwards. Oh, yes. Yes. Another keeper. Another keeper. Nice one, too. Nice one, too. Nice one, too. You're not happy, huh? I don't blame you, buddy. Yes. All right, y'all. This one, 100% a keeper. It might be PB of the day. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that bad boy here. Look at that bad boy here. So this is... It's number 11. It's number 11, baby. And this is like the prettiest one. Look at the blue on it. Fluorescent. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a good solid. Probably six or seven inches. Yeah. Put it in the cooler. All right, free line. It's getting hit. If I can get this free line one, we had a dozen. Baker dozen. All right, here we go. I gotta figure out like at what point to grab them. I'm gonna swim to the left. That's not good. I need to go to the right. Okay, we're gonna have to go down and get this one. I'm not letting this one go. Snake City, I don't care. No, you're not getting away from me. Not this time, buddy. Fool me once. Shame on me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. Here we go. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Got him. We got him. Oh my god. That's a nice one too. Oh my god, I'm on an unstable rock. I'm about to bust my butt. Since I'm out here, I might as well cast it back out. Okay. You know, don't lose the one you actually have to try to cast out your bait. Be smart. There we go. Alright, free line is doing. Bro, it's heating up, man. It's actually heating up right now. This is a nice one. There we go. Nice one. We might be at 12. We might be at 12. Oh yes, we did that. 
We did that right now. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was a nice one. This might be PB. I'm missing one claw. Oh, he's spitting at me. Look at this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is 100% keeper. This is probably five. Wow. Five. Almost seven inches. Seven inches. Unreal. I see something floating. It must be my net. There's a. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Keeper. Definitely keeper. Here we go. Last one. Last one of the day, y'all. Can we get one more? Let's see. Gotta pull it quick right now. Gotta pull it quick. Go, 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 go. Yes, got one. Yes. Got one. Got one. Hold on. Give me a second. This is a nice one. Got a keeper. Okay. All right, y'all. That was the last net of the day. I'm headed home. If my math is mathing right, even though the sun is hot, this makes number 14, 14 of the day. We can do it tonight, baby. So once again, y'all, um, if y'all want to see me do more crap videos, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and all that other crazy stuff. It's been real. Peace. All right, y'all. So I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, the catch. Welcome to the second segment, AKA the clean and cook. If you're still watching, I like you better than the other people who already cut off this video. That's right, y'all. Y'all my number ones. I love y'all, man. So yeah, man, I'm excited to get this crab thing going on. Y'all, what y'all watched today was probably my fourth trip before I finally got it, man. I went crabbing some other times, some other locations. Didn't have no luck, but just trying to keep adjusting, took some tips online, and I think I'm locked in. I think I'm locked in. I'm looking forward to my next crabbing trip to see if I can be even more productive. We got 14, got 14 keeper crabs, y'all. So I'm excited to get them things cleaned and cooked and I'm ready to eat because I'm exhausted. So yeah, man, so let me show you what I'm gonna do today. Something simple and quick because once again, I'm tired. I'm ready to eat and go to bed. So let's check it out. Let's go. All right, y'all, every time I boil crabs, um, even snow crabs, I do the same thing, man. I use the Louisiana crawfish shrimp and boil seasoning. We're gonna put some Louisiana concentrated syrup right there. We're gonna do some little petite potatoes, some corn, and of course the star of the show, 14 delicioso blue crabs. I think I can do it. It's gonna be delicious. I know I can do it. Let go. Yeah. All right, y'all, time for the next segment of the clean and cook. The actual hardest and most complicated part the cleaning. Check it out. All right, got no hot power. There you go. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh y'all, y'all thought I was about to break them open, get a hose, spray out the gills, rinse them again. Nah, I'm tired. Nobody got time for that. We're cooking these hoes. Now let's get to the cook portion. Let go. All right, y'all. So first, get your pot boiling. Hot, hot, hot. And from there, take my lid off. Ooh. All right, now when it comes to this Louisiana shrimp and crawfish boil mixture, um, be careful with this. This, this. this pack of punch, all right? So I'm probably gonna use maybe half of it. Let's see here. All right, this half of it. Well, if you a G like me, use all of it. All right. <coughs> all right, so we got that. Next, we have that Louisiana crab and shrimp boil concentrate. I don't even know what that means. 
Oh, it says, um, shake well, one tablespoon per five pounds. How much does a crab weigh? Probably like half a pound. One, so two crabs equal maybe one pound. I probably got seven pounds of crab, so about five tablespoons. Eh, we'll wing it. <laughs> Cleans up your sinuses. All right, so we got that. Next up, we'll start dropping our crab in. Oh yeah, that is the good stuff. So yeah, y'all, I was out there fishing, or I can say crabbing, from 6.30 in the morning to probably like 10 when I got to the first spot. In that video, in that video, like I wasn't in it, in the video you just watched, I did catch only that stone crab and one keeper crab, then it got slow. So from there, I relocated, okay? Once I relocated, as soon as I got there, I was looking over the edge. You can actually physically, visually see crabs just sitting there. Even like discarded chicken bones, it was crazy. The ones I could see, I caught a couple, but they weren't keepers. So once I um, started casting my crab nets out, I kind of figured, you know, I was getting some hits, um, put an extension out on my crab nets to get them out farther, then it started really popping. Something else I noticed is my little free line, right? When you just have like a you know, piece of chicken on a string and just throw it out there, that had a lot of activity, but those were the hardest ones to catch. It was fun though. Crabbing is like really fun. You know what I'm saying? I know my last video was crazy. If you would watch my last video, um, I think it's called, I caught the biggest fish of my life. You know, this is more of a laid back kind of vlog, but it's still it just as exciting to me. All right, so we got our crabs in. We're gonna boil those for 20 minutes, okay? Um, amongst that, I have my corn, okay? And also my potatoes. The potatoes, you're gonna do those about 15 minutes. So I'm set two timers. One timer, 20 minutes, of course, for the crabs. Another timer, five minutes to put my potatoes in. As far as the corn, personally, I like to boil my corn for five minutes to get it nice and crisp, all right? So you're gonna do stages. Crab first, 20 minutes. Five minutes later, we'll put our potatoes in. From there, additional 10 minutes. That math, that math, mathing. Yeah, we'll put the corn in last and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Hope you enjoying the episode. And I can't wait to eat. You. Yeah. All right, y'all, so it's been about five minutes. Next up, we're gonna put our petite red potatoes. I can't remember if this particular bag, you can just put in like whole, the whole bag itself. But normally it's just like a tag that says peel and just throw the whole bag in. I ain't taking no chances that this plastic melt and mess up my <laughs> potatoes. So we're gonna just cut it open and toss them in. Oh man, my sinuses, bro. That seasoning and that oil is no joke. I may have went, may have went a little smidgen, a little bit too hard with the seasoning. Wow. But um, it's gonna be fire though. So let's put our potatoes in. Hold on, open my bag a little bit. There we go. Yeah, gotta get some carbs in. Perfect. All right, one more. Get the potatoes in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish I can smell the aroma. All right, let's put this back. Cool. All right, so we got about 13 minutes, right? Once again, next up, I'm gonna have to chuck my corn here. We'll peel it, chop it, put this in about five minutes left and get the money shot. We'll be done. See you back in a second when I put the corn in. Be back. All right, y'all, time for the final stage to go. We got about five minutes left to our boil is complete. So this is the perfect time to put in the corn as such. There we go. I don't know where you're located at, but if you're in Texas, the corn right now must be in season because at HEB, you can get four, four corn. Is it stalks of corn for $2? Four pieces of corn for $2. So we're just gonna just toss all this in there. Go. Corn and 
corn and potatoes is like the staple. Even with, definitely with um, crawfish boards as well. I know a lot of people put like sausage, not a fan in my boroughs. Um, shrimp, a lot of people love shrimp. I'm allergic to shrimp, y'all. People ask me all the time, like, you know, can you, what happens when you touch it? Nothing happens when I touch it, only when I eat it. Um, mushrooms, I know people in Louisiana, they be getting crazy with it. They be putting everything in there. Mushrooms, lemons, oranges, you know, little babies. You can never know what Louisiana put in there. All right, so we're just gonna st stuff a lot of corn. I think I got like five total corn. I'll just kind of snap them in half and that's it. So we're gonna make sure those get down and marinate. All right, y'all, so let's just go ahead and put this in. All right, so we have about five minutes left until our broil is complete. Once again, remember, boil your water. Put your seasoning in. After you put your seasoning in, first thing is your crabs. You want to boil those about 20 to 25 minutes. When they turn like a pretty bright red, they're done. Next, put your petite potatoes in. If you have the small potatoes, it's going to take about 15 minutes to get nice and tender. After that, your corn, only five minutes, right? You want that nice crisp corn. When you bite into it, where it's just like, then you know it's good, okay? So um, let this sit five minutes. We'll come back. We'll get the money shot, do a taste test, and we'll be done. We're almost there. Keep watching. Keep watching. We're almost done. All right, y'all, there you have it. That was an excellent money shop. I'm happy with that. So now, my favorite part of the episode, the eat. The eat, man. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that, boy. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. All right, man, I know this has been a long, long episode, but I think it was enjoyable, man. So let me just hurry up so y'all can go. Y'all don't wanna hear me smacking. You want to hear me smack? You want to see me try to crab? Yeah, man. Let's try it out. Texas blue crab. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, mm. What's y'all favorite crab? You know what I'm saying? There's blue crab. There's snow crab, king crab, stone crab. What's your favorite crab? Comment below your favorite crab below. Dungeons crab. I'm curious. All right. Let me let me shut up. So. I just want to test it out for y'all for the camera. Got to get that one bite with some garlic herb butter. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, here we go, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That was worth it. That was worth the eight hours. Ella. Mmm. Yeah. It was worth the eight hours. Okay, I'm about to throw down. If you like the video, make sure you thumbs up the video. Comment below, once again, what's your favorite type of crab? And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on my fishing and crabbing adventures. Once again, my name is Raynell Roy, and this is my channel, Fishing Trips. It's been real, y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna drop the little picker for the crab. Peace. All right, y'all, so I'm last man standing. Um, I'm damn sure I ain't about to be out here when the sun come down, because look, look at me, man, like I'm around this random graffiti and possibly death, who knows? We'll see, man. The rain is keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. Low key, the spot kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fitcher Trips. We'll be back with another vlog, y'all. Check it. Got a special one for y'all. I'm back out here in these crabbing streets, out on another crabbing adventure. 
Now, the interesting thing about this episode, I'm not supposed to be starting this episode right now because I'm not actually at the spot I'm at. I'm on my way to the spot, but as I'm going, I'm noticing on my GPS, there's another spot that I pinned that I've never been to before. So I just wanted to make a quick pit stop and check it out. It's been raining for damn near an hour straight. So yeah, come check out this spot, man. I might have to just throw one crab net over here just to test it out and head out to my another spot. But the good thing about this spot is, as you can see, it's covered. Yeah, it's covered. So yeah, man, am I gonna stay at this spot? I don't think so. No, we're gonna do net. One net, we're gonna prospect one chicken, see how deep it is, because if I'm not gonna fish here today, I'll come back later. But since it has this covered, this covered patio section over here, I might have to actually check out this spot. Let me let y'all look on what I'm looking at. You yeah. All right. Really muddy. This is crazy, right? Absolute crazy. Yeah, man, so I've never been here before. Like people put some fires over here or something. Let's see what that is. Somebody has a net pole soaking sitting in a truck. So yeah, I'm not sure how deep this water is. But to me, man, you got some metal pilings. How you doing, man? Looks dope. Let's go talk to the local. It's like somebody had a nice fire. This truck's over there. So talking to um, the guy from that truck over there, he's been fishing about three hours, said hasn't had any luck. But he did say he did see people crabbing, pulling up crabs around the grass line. I think it's a boat ramp over here somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, I just want to know how deep this is. I mean, I'm already here, right? So I might as well try. It says a couple of three or four foot gators. Now this river is close to the spot that I'm going to where I spotted a 10 foot gator. I'll try to put some drone footage in there. I don't know y'all. This looks really crabby. Let's just test it out before we head to the other spot. Like I say, it's been raining all day. It's time to stop. Good thing is, is that um, if it does rain, we got plenty of cover right here. All right, let's grab a couple of crab nets and test it out. Yeah. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do is set up just two pods, two nets, as you can see here. Really simple process, man. Strap my chicken here, we drop it down. Buoy keeps my line up. Got about 20 foot lanyard and a little buoy. I don't drop these from a boat or a kayak, I can, but we're just gonna put these on land. So let's just put a couple pieces of chicken on there. And like I said, y'all, I'm just prospecting. This is not even a spot. I anticipated stopping that. The rain is stopping, so that's good. So I just want to try two. We'll get about like 15 minutes and see if the spot can produce. If it can, then I guess it's gonna be a change of plan where I'm gonna be crabbing here under the very big bridge. <laughs> oh man, you just never know what you get with fishing chips, right? It's a fishing adventure. I met some cool people under the bridge. I know that sounds really weird, but <laughs> You know, you never know if you're on a bridge, are the people cool or kind of crazy. All right, so we got a two pods. Let's go over there and drop them. Get about 10, 15 minutes and see if this spot's good enough. If not, we'll head to the real spot or I could change the episode and we can fish right here. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I know there's gators here, which I'm not really excited about. Jesus Christ. The rain is off and on. So we're gonna push y'all down real quick. Don't fall, please. Bucket down. Here comes rain again. Which makes me think I should probably drop underneath the bridge, but we'll put one over here first though and see what happens before the rain hits. There we go. good all right gotta be super careful once again i don't know how deep it is my lanyard's 20 feet 
still dropping, still dropping, still dropping. Oh wow, y'all, it is super deep. Barely have enough. It's roughly 15, it's about 15 foot deep right here. Just enough to let that hang out there. If a gator decides he wants it, it's a wrap. It's his. Gator comes, this is your net now, buddy. Like I said, the rain is picking up. I am not in waterproof mode with my equipment for a camera. So we need to hurry up. There we go. Are we free? Are we finally free? Jeez, Louise. All right, we're free. If I fall, it's a wrap. Repeat. If I fall, it is a wrap. Oh, this spot just as deep. It's about 15 feet, about 10 feet. I have nothing to wrap my buoys up with. We'll give it about 10 minutes and we'll see. I have to remember to bring my extra line. My lanyards are 20 feet, but this is about 15 feet. I got just enough that I don't like it hanging over like that. So I'm trying to take it. My buoys are gone. So I tie it to my net. It's a little brace. Then I'm gonna lose my net too. Bad boys will get a two for one. There we go. That'll work. Other guy who's fishing, he's leaving too, so it's only me. Apparently this spot is not good for fishing because like I said, one guy said he was here for three hours, nothing. This guy, he's been here about 30 minutes, I guess no bites. I'm not here for the fishing, I'm here for the crabbing. We'll see. I'll be back, y'all. Let you know. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm last man standing. Um, I'm damn sure I'm about to be out here when the sun come down, because look, look at me, man, like I'm around just random graffiti and possibly death, who knows? We'll see, man. The rain is keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. Low key, the spot kind of freaked me out a little bit. I mean, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good, but still. But still, rain picking up again. If I'm a fish over here, I'm gonna have to drop underneath the bridge, but I bet the bridge is just as deep. What to do right now, what to do? All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take an empty net. Hold on. I'll take an empty net. All right. I'm gonna take an empty net over there underneath the bridge because if it starts raining, I can take refuge underneath the bridge. But also I need to test out the sea if it's underneath the bridge, if it's deeper than 20. If it's deeper than 20, then I can't crap underneath the bridge. All right, so let's go ahead and prospect underneath the bridge, see what we can find. All right, if you come out here, man, even though you probably never find it, super muddy, be careful about getting stuck. I got on mud boots. Oh, look at this. Graffiti on the walls. Here we go. Let's come over here. Put y'all on those stable ground. Alright. I just want to test out the depth. To see how deep it is right here. Now the guy who was fishing, he said he's seen two gators kind of going back and forth, cruising along the shoreline. I haven't spotted any yet. What is, is that a gator? No, that's just water. Just water right now. All right. Once again, if I fall, I'm screwed. Let's see how deep it is. I bet it's even deeper underneath the bridge, of course. 
still going. Come on, stop, stop, stop. 15. Oh my God. Yep, I don't got enough rope. Underneath the bridge is deeper than 20 feet. I think there's a boat ramp over here to the right that we might have to explore because that's not gonna work. I don't have enough line. I got some more lanyards at home, but I forgot them because I wasn't anticipating fishing somewhere that's gonna be deeper than 20 foot. With the rope I got at the house, I can easily extend out my line either by 10 feet, even 30 feet. I think there's a boat ramp around the corner over there. Let's go ahead and check our test pods. This spot I'm not really feeling. Like I say, unless my test pods, test nets have something in it, this ain't the spot for me. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so I've arrived at spot number two. I got about two hours to get it done. Now, I came here before um, to try to do some crabbing, but it was late, just like now. So it got really dark. I saw a bunch of gators, really no crabs. But um, somebody told me that this is a good spot. I was just on the wrong spot. So I'm gonna check out the actual good spot. We'll see. All right, so they told me over here. See where I'm at? So that's a dam. Let me take a little peek over here. See, a, is that a bass? Bro, this must be brackish water. Okay. Apparently this spot. I don't know. Oh, what the hell was that? See that? See, I need to start bringing my ultra light rod. I got my really big rod, but I wasn't planning on really big rod fishing. Do some grabbing. Oh, look at that gar. Can y'all see that? Garfish. Wait, 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 wait. Let me zoom in. Don't move. You can't see it because of the reflection. There, look, look. That's a nice car. Wow. Okay. Not here for gar. Not here for bass. Fish are blowing up. Look, I got my heavy duty, heavy duty rod um, for bull red. I don't know if there's bull red in here, but there's definitely gar, bass, and some really big alligators. All right, let's go ahead and posse up, man. Let's get our stuff. Let's see what can happen. What time is it? 5.46. I know I just dropped them, but I'm checking them, y'all. I want to see how fast this place is going to produce and not produce. Yeah. It's just fish blowing up here. I know I keep coming to the spot to try to crab it, but I think the fishing might be amazing here. Let's see, gar. Uh -huh. This one's really deep. Ooh. Really deep, really deep, really deep. Ooh, yes. Yes. Okay. Looks a little bit bigger than the other one. the deepest one can't even grip it this is the deepest one see the deep one produce oh another one there we go looks all mustard looking it still doesn't even know it's caught keeper yeah definitely keeper all right, this is all nice and brown looking. Another keeper. Once again, y'all, we can catch some big ones. We'll exchange them. Even though these are illegal, 
If I get some big ones, we'll drop these back in. Nothing again. Here's the extra deep one. Mm. Maybe I gotta let them soak longer. I don't know. Spider got it. Let's go. Finally. Finally got a nice one. Once again, my bucket is too far away. Finally got a nice one. There we go. Finally. That might be your actual PB. Don't lose it right now. Look at that. Yeah, I got some meat in it, right? That's a nice crab, y'all. Really, really nice crab. Man. Four hours to get this nice one. Oh, look at that. I put it in that corner over there. Might have to relocate. That's where the big one's at. Just for show. Five. This one's probably almost probably seven inches. These are some nice looking crabs. As they like to call them like rusty. Oh, look at that. Boy, look at that, y'all. Y'all see how brown it is? That thing is full of meat. I don't know. Here comes the rain. Full of meat. Pretty, isn't it? Look at that, y'all. Don't bite me, homie. Wow. I've never seen one so brown. It was just about to molt. They kind of, you know, grow out their shell. So sure enough, man, that is a nice one. Put her in a bucket. Rain is coming, of course, when it's getting good. Of course. Put her in a bucket. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the catch segment of the episode. Welcome to the clean and cook. Now, the catch was pretty rough, y'all. I crabbed for about five hours and caught about five crabs. That's one keeper crab per hour. Not a good, not a good performance, but I'm gonna turn lemons into lemonade and I'm gonna throw that lemon into my pot. I'm gonna try something I've never done before and that's actually steaming blue crabs. Now I know apparently it's like Maryland versus everybody. In Maryland, it's all about steaming crabs. Down south, we boil everything, right? I never tried steaming crabs before. To me, I don't think it's gonna be as flavorful. We'll see. So I'm gonna take these little small crabs and do a little test. It's not gonna be all super fancy. This ain't gonna be all long. And we'll see if steamed crabs live up to the hype. Let's see what we're working with. All right, y'all, so I'm keeping it super simple. Like I said, this is only a test. This is only a test. One thing I'm gonna be using is vinegar. I keep forgetting to try to use vinegar. Apparently, this makes the crab meat taste sweeter and makes the meat come out of the shell easier. So just a little bit of vinegar. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of garlic salt, just one lemon. I wanna do the Louisiana seasoning like I always do for my boils. I'm not sure if I have to just sprinkle Old Bay on top of the crabs. Got my crabs nice and hibernated on some ice. Yeah, this is only an experiment. We're gonna just do some taste tests, see how it goes. Let's clean one crab and I'll show you how to clean the crab then we'll, we'll, we'll steam it. Let's go. All right, y'all, so let's clean the crab real quick. Now, when I say clean it, you can throw your crab straight into the pot, steam it whole, but I discovered in my last episode, I prefer them clean. I'm just not team crab mustard. I'm not team crab butter. So let me show you how to clean a crab real quick. All right, here's your beautiful crab right there, right? What you wanna do first, what I do anyway, is we'll take off the apron by flipping this up right here, all right? You'll tear that off. That's so. Next, what you want to do on, is take your crab and I take these three legs and grip this, right? On the corner of your sink, you kind of hold the legs right here, right? So you're pressing this way, right? And I'm going to take the shell and pull opposite way, right? So press the crab against the sink like this, right? Can y'all see that? Then we're going to slowly pull the head back. Just like that. All right, next, what you want to do is get the gills. I think they call this dead man something right here. So we don't want the gills, right? Scrape off the gills. A spoon works great. You don't just feel like turning around and grit one. All right, gills off like that. Tear off the face right here. I know it sounds graphic. There we go. Tear off the face. And that's what I'll do is a little water here. 
right? Kind of expose the guts. Next, the hack, life hack, toothbrush. Get a toothbrush to get all that crab mustard and butter out. Just like that. Trust me, y'all will thank me later. So we get the crab butter here. Turn y'all around a little bit. Just rub it with a regular toothbrush. It makes things so much easier. Super quick. Nothing crazy you gotta worry about. There we go. And that's it, y'all. That is a perfectly fresh cream crab. <laughs> cream crab. Clean crab ready to go into the pot. Let me go ahead and clean out the other ones. We'll throw it in, do a taste test, and we'll be good to go. You yeah. all right, y'all. So we got everything prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna do maybe a tablespoon of vinegar. It's only five crabs. You know what? We'll do two tablespoons of vinegar. Once again, apparently this makes it sweet and make the meat easier to come off. Um, next, we'll just put our crabs in. Yeah, we'll put our crabs in next. Now, as far as how long we cook these for, from what I'm looking at, when you steam crabs, you know, they turn bright red. So it took about I'm going to take 15 minutes. 15 minutes, give or take. Do a little garlic salt. There we go. A little Louisiana crab oil. I wasn't going to do Old Bay, but just to keep the taste the same as I do with my boy, I want to keep it fair and partial. Next, we'll get an onion. Onion. It's been a long day. Lemon. Crack that. The lemon in there. There we go. Oh, nice. A little lemon. Like I said, this is a really simple boil today. Clean and cook. I'm just experimenting. That's it. All right. So let me give y'all a view of this. Hold on. A second here, y'all. Give me a second. All right. So we'll just go ahead and crank up our heat. And yeah. We'll let that do its thing. Sorry, be back y'all. If everything goes well, we're gonna get a good money shot, taste test, and we'll be done. Yeah. Here comes my favorite part of the episode, the taste test. All right, man, so, I mean, steam crab, it looked good, I ain't gonna lie. It looked good. So let's try to get a better look at that right there. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. So we'll try the leg first, then the cage. Oh, that was simple enough. Ooh, won't he do it? It's a little butter there. See that? Mm. Hold on. Mmm. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to be the, the the meat is like I don't know if it's moist or softer. But you know what? Maybe I don't know if it, is it because of the steam or is it because I use vinegar for the first time? Hold on, let me. Get another piece here. I don't know, y'all. The meat is definitely softer. It's sweet. All right, so let's just try another piece. Hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so I'm worried. I'm worried that steam crab might be better. And this is why I'm worried. I just don't know if it's better because it's steam or if it's better because of the vinegar. Oh man, I'm not, I can't believe I'm, hold on, let me try another piece here, y'all. 
Somebody said that I should try to eat more of the food in one of the comments. Will do. It's not as spicy in comparison to like when it's boiled, right? Somebody also suggests like get a you know spoon and kind of tap it when you boil it. I guess steaming it worked too to help get some of those spices in there. All right, I'm trying to give y'all like a definitive answer. Hold on, Find another piece. <laughs> and I keep eating because I don't want to say what I want to say. Okay, here's the definitive answer. The texture of steamed crab is better than boiled. It's smoother, it's tender, I can't explain it. But I don't know if it's because of the vinegar or because I steamed it. I don't want to find out. I gotta go out there and catch some more crabs. <laughs> gotta catch some more crabs, add vinegar to my boil, and see if I get this nice velvet texture that I'm getting with the steamed crabs. If I don't, I think steam crab is might actually might actually taste better. We can get some more seasoning just by like seasoning our butter. Wow, steam crab is pretty fire. Damn. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment below, are you team steam crab or team boil? Um, also make sure you subscribe. Follow me on my fishing and crabbing adventures. The winter's coming. I'm gonna be having some camping adventures too, so pretty sure you'll be looking forward to that. Once again, y'all, my name is Ray Roy, AKA Fishing Trips. Been real. Peace. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and we back for the vlog, y'all. Check it, got a special episode for y'all today because you know, doing something a little different, all right? Now, normally when I go fishing, I leave Houston about 4 a.m., 4.30, all right? Currently, the time is now 10 a.m., okay? Why are you leaving so late right now? Well, number one, the wind is trash today, all right? There's a small craft advisory. I was gonna take my Hobie out, but my Hobie is apparently a small craft, so I didn't wanna die today, okay? So I was thinking like, what can I do as far as fishing on windy days. Where can I fish? And I remember last time I went crabbing, I was on some side roads and I seen some ditches on the side that were protected by the wind. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to the Gulf. I'm just gonna randomly drive around, jump out of my truck and fish some side dishes and probably crab them too. I mean, what's the worst can happen? Personally, I think I can catch at least one flounder today and a few crabs. I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go! at the first spot i'm gonna scout out real quick once again y'all i've never i never fish here cast net here never crab here never been here before so i'm just out really hopping out my truck and just gonna walk around and see if we see anything interesting all right hell yeah so this is um this is a side creek i'm not sure let me show y'all what i'm looking at right now fishy though. I want to drive down there. Let's drive down a little farther. Yeah, let's drive down a little farther and see what's um, towards the end of the road. Let's see what it looks like. This is a crabbing boat. That's a good sign. Yeah, all right. So I don't know if this is going to be the spot that we start at yet, but you know, we're exploring, man. We got to get out the house, jump in your car, your truck, just drive around, hop out and just look. 
All right, come on, y'all. Let's go. This looks interesting. I don't have any bait, but I do got my cast net. You guys over there doing? What y'all doing over there, buddy? What y'all doing over there? I'm trying to see if I see any kind of fish activity. Fish, crab, bait activity. Anything activity-wise. Yeah, man, I'm out in the middle. Really, nowhere. It's only just me and that one guy and his dog back there. So just because you go to a certain, what the hell was that? What is that? Y'all, just because you go to a certain spot and there's nobody around, doesn't mean it's not a good spot. A lot of times, monkey see, monkey do. People all go to the same spot because that's where they see other people at. Ah oh, man, just go off the unbeaten path of um, random places. I'm convinced that I don't know if anything's over here. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and get the ultralight out. Let me park over here out the way. We'll do a few casts. We'll spend about 15 minutes here and see. If not, that whole road as well. There's a few of the spots that I've saw before where it looks like you can park on the side maybe without getting hit. So I might try that. For now, let me try this little section here. I wonder if there any crabs over here though. Look at this grassy area, man. There's a flounder. There has to be a flounder over here. Or I can definitely get my cast bait, cast net. See if I can cast net some finger mullet. Eh, you never know. <laughs> All right, let me get my gear. Camera, one rod. We'll do some casts and get it popping. All right, y'all. So once again, um, the time is now 12 p.m. If you look that way, you look all the way that way. I'm the only person on this one mile stretch of roadway. So um, that means two things. Either A, um, I'm an idiot, because this is a horrible fishing spot because there's nobody here and it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Or B, I'm a genius, because I'm fishing spots that people aren't trying to fish, apparently. So let's um, do some exploring on these little side dishes. I got my ultralight rod. I'm gonna use some really light uh, artificial lures and See what we can do, you know? I got my boots on, right? I do got some thigh high waiter boots as well. If, if I wanna get a little deeper in the water, probably won't, but you know, just in case. See if we can get it done. One flounder, one crab, one finger mullet. Mullet is a, is a goal for today's video. All right, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's come over here. We'll work this grass line. Oh, that wind is crazy. Don't blow my camera down, baby. All right. Let's just toss it right here at the mouth of whatever the hell this is on this ditch. See mullet jumping out there, that's a good sign. I mean, it might be some flounder hanging out around this grass line, right? All right, y'all, so let's try to do something that I can't really do is cast net some bait. Let's get some water here. go yeah that's not that many things i hate more than a cast net maybe rainbow trout and coomerats but that's about it so we'll see if we can get us a finger mullet because the spot actually might be good however the thing they're looking for is live bait not my artificial put this over here because of the noise
and I keep telling myself take some time to you know watch some YouTube videos on how to throw a cast net but ain't nobody got time for that once again this cast net has been in storage for about five years I quit using it because I got frustrated but with prices of bait these days it's almost mandatory that you got to learn how to throw a cast net it's only about a four foot I don't got to be perfect <laughs> we just got to get a few <sighs> honestly respectfully that was not a bad cast at all I'd be surprised I don't have anything <gasps> wow check it out man we actually got some bait I was going for mullet but I'll be honest with you man I ain't even mad at what I got where the hell are we going? There we go. Check it out, y'all. That is a true wild shrimp. Perfect size for bait, actually. All right, so we can catch shrimp out here? Bet. Say less. To the bucket you go, my friend. All right. I like that technique. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just, it's like a three point shot like Steph Curry. You gotta just kinda hold it for a second. Anything? No. Yo, cast netting is a lot of work, but it saves you a lot of money. I know y'all probably can't see it, but I see some random bubbles out here. So I'm just gonna cast out, see what happens. Wasn't a long cast, but it was a cast. Oh, oh my God. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. What? This. Now this is what we was looking for, y'all. This is what we were looking for, baby. Yes. That right there is flounder candy. No bird. No bird. It's mine. Okay, I got sweat in my eye. I can't see. I can't see. Wait, 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 wait. All right, y'all. Let me. Ouch. Ow. He's. Uh, they're slimy and small because they're finger inside. There you go. All right, y'all. I told y'all I saw bubbles out there. This is exactly what we're looking for. Finger size mullet, flounder candy. Great cast for now. I got one, two, three, four, five, maybe five of them. Perfect. Let's put these in a bait bucket. We'll probably do a couple of more casts over here and we'll be good to go. Yeah! Knew I can do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm back in the truck. I've been here about an hour, no fish, about 10 to 11 finger mullet, which is nice. I'm gonna start working my way down to another spot. Note to self right now, please watch a YouTube video on how to throw a cast net. I mean, please, bro. It might take like 15 minutes. That's all you gotta do. Take 15 minutes right now, watch a YouTube video on how to throw a damn cast net. They say fish supposed to be like stress-free and relaxing. I, I, just, I didn't get the memo. I didn't get the memo because this is not stress free. This is not relaxing. I hate cast nets, bro. I hate cast nets. Only because I don't know how to use them. It's my own fault. Let, let me stop ranting. Let's go to the next roadside spot and keep it moving. We still got to get a crab or a flounder. It's going to be a long day. Let's check out this red, random roadside place. Okay, first observation is, it's kind of weird. Kind of trashy, so people definitely know about it. 
tires. It's never, never a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Got somebody here at Crabbing, freelining. Interesting. What the hell is that? All right, y'all, so my next random roadside ditches literally in the middle of nowhere. No, that's slimy. See how bad it is, hold on. Yep, you're gonna die on that. Not going there. Not going there. So, could be nice. Small crabs. That's really big though. Interesting. Interesting spot. One, two, three. Yeah, like five. Five hand lines. So it's a, I don't know if this is a spot we can actually crab on. When you're walking past that, that's death right there. I don't know, man. It looks kind of polluted, deoxidized, <laughs> meaning no oxygen. Still a few casts. I came down here. Might as well. Still a few casts while I'm down here. I don't know if I'm gonna try to crab over here, but this video is casting, fishing, and crabbing. All right, on today's episode of 101 Ways to Die fishing on random roadside creeks. All right, let's post up by this tire, AKA rattlesnake. Perfect spot for rattlesnake. Okay, well, let's sit you right there. I don't want no problem, big fella. All right, here we go. There we go. Um, this is a 0% chance I'm gonna catch anything on this spot. This actually looks like a great spot for um, crabbing. I wanna see that guy catch something. I wanna see how big they are. I know there's alligators over here, but let's just, let's just do a few casts, man. We, we made it this far. It's not gonna hurt. The good thing is the mosquitoes have not been around. He, he caught one, I didn't see. So windy, mosquitoes ain't really out and about. Although I think I feel one on my back. Y'all let me know, is there a mosquito on my back? Paranoid now. Oh, I think I have snakes around me, alligators. It's a lot of grass in here. I can't tell. I know one thing. If there's fish in here, like right now, I'm gonna get it. So um fishing Roadside Creek so far has not been a success. Castinating Roadside Creek has been a success. Got about 10 finger mullet. The creek is up, which is great. So I need to um still catch a crab and a fish. Alright. Oh no. Oh yeah. The tide is high. That's a great sign. All right, yeah. The high tide, it's a really good sign. That pushes the crabs closer to shore. So hopefully they're here. I 
so simple double ring crab net chicken leg drop it in it's not rocket science right all right nothing nothing set up our chair relax so we got all our um i have all my um crab nets and free line set up I have a total of 12 um time is now 2 15 so i've been out here for two hours and 15 minutes not at this one spot but since i started fishing yeah man we gotta we gotta get it together let me set up my little station my little chair so i can relax get off my feet hydrate i have those mullet finger mullet i might just kind of freeline those on my ultralight with a jig head maybe i'm not sure yeah we got to catch a fish and a crab to complete this goal now i could say you know i'm looking around at you know this beautiful nature and i should be thankful i am thankful damn it but i still want to eat i'm thankful for food we got to get it done man it's two hours right now two hours nothing but it's a process baby it's a process All right, let's set up our chair. Let's get some water. Let's get our rod and reel. See what we're gonna do with this finger mullet. See if we can get a flounder off this pier. Let go. All right, I felt some pressure on this one. It's out there pretty far, so we got some work to do. This could be first creeper, keeper crab of the day. Got a lot of line out. Oh, it's mad now. It is mad now. It's mad, y'all. It's pulling harder. It is tugging hard. Yeah, we got one on the board. Look at that. Let's see how rusty he is. All that brown. So that means it's full of meat. Yes, look at that. It has like a hole in it too right here. You've been, you've been fighting, huh? Mm. Oh man. Look, I didn't bring my pot. I would have ate him out here. Alright, so we got one in the bucket. We still need to catch a flounder. And about 11 more of these. color B <sighs> got him let's go let's go y'all this is the ugliest crab I have ever seen <clears throat> look at that look what's going on with that that boy has been mudding, mudding. Wow, that is crazy. It's a male for show, so y'all can see. But have y'all ever seen a crab that color before? Can I even eat this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna eat it, I don't care. Mm -mm. YOLO, you only live once. Yeah, bro, I'm dipping your rusted behind in some butter. Mm, yeah, a little garlic. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to talk about eating while I'm holding. I'm sorry. In the bucket he goes. You barely see it. No, 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 no. Oh, look how big this one is, y'all. Giant. He's trying not to get out. Hold on. Holy smokes. Giant. Giant. He's trying to climb out. My bucket's too far away. Hold on, but there you go. Nice one. Nice one indeed, y'all. It's another male. 
full of meat. This boy is heavy. Heavy, you hear me? You hear me? Yes. <clears throat> so far, free line is getting them, man. I have not caught any on my drop nets yet. Just free line throwing them out. Let's keep remaining being productive. I still have not had the opportunity to start fishing yet. For good reason. You. Yeah. <sighs> this day started at 12 o'clock. It's now 3.30. It's been three and a half hours, no fish, four crabs. Quite honestly, I want at least 12 crabs. But my, my nets are not producing, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We got good good high tide we got good flow tide movement I mean everything is pretty much what it should be to catch fish quite honestly just gotta catch one I have another rod in the car. I could make another bootleg Carolina rig with the second rod, but yeah, I could just put it up in my rod holder right there, in my cart. But nah, man, I don't want to do too much. Just, just focus on the small things for now. Just focus on the small things. I feel like I need to throw my free lines out farther. Brainstorming, don't mind me, I'm brainstorming. All right, I'm gonna throw my free lines out farther. Which means I'm gonna have to pull in almost 15, 20 yards of line if I get a crab on, but there's no point of doing my free lines this close if I'm not getting no damn crabs. All right, let me hydrate readjust I'll be back come on come on come on got it got it <sighs> bro I thought that was big it's a damn stick No claws. Interesting. You can't do nothing to me, buddy, because you don't got no claws. <clears throat> Keeper. Male. No claws. Surviving. Till today, because I'm going to eat it. Going to eat it. But damn. Life has been tough for this guy, man. I mean, both his claws are gone. But he out here still hustling and eating. God dang it now, I feel bad about eating him. Should I eat him or should I throw him back? Because he doesn't have any claws. You know what? No, that's discriminatory. No, that's that's being no, that's discriminatory, right? Just because he doesn't have any arms doesn't mean I should treat him any differently. Yeah, yeah. He getting eight. All right, y'all. So I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, the catch. Now I know what some of y'all think right now, there was not a lot of catching going on in that segment. First of all, I don't like being judged in my own damn house. Second of all, I accomplished two out of the three goals I had. I was able to cast net some bait and I was able to catch a crab. I just could not catch a flounder. It is not my fault. It is still 90 degrees outside the last week of October. Where's the cold front? Where's the cold front? Where the flounder at? I don't know, it's not my fault. But I was able to catch five keeper crabs. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. Something I've never done before, deep fried crab. That's right, deep fried crab. I'm in Texas, you know, we deep fry everything. So why not blue crab? Check it out, I think we might like it. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. What we're gonna be doing is some simple flour. I got my Louisiana crawfish mixture. I got some pancake mix that may or may not happen. A couple of eggs, that's all we need. I'm gonna do this on the side. I got my deep fryer here. This is the chef style deep fryer. I got this at, I wanna say H-E-B, I can't remember, it's been a minute. So this is where we're gonna deep fry our crab at. We'll talk about that later in a second. So yeah, y'all, simple recipe. 
just like you deep fry any fish, any chicken, same thing. We're just gonna deep fry some crab. Simple enough. I think I can do it. All right, y'all, first thing first, let's clean our crab. Now I know, just cause I said clean the crab, some of y'all are already offended. Nah, Renee, I want the crab butter, I want the guts, huh? I'm not team guts, I'm sorry, I'm not team crab butter. I'm team clean crab, all right? If you don't want to clean your crab, you don't got to clean your crab. You can just leave them alone, just jump to the second part of this part, of the catch and cook, whatever. But yeah, I'm cleaning my crab. So if you've never cleaned a crab before, super simple, well, let me show you. Here's a crab, all right? Now this bad boy, he's been sleeping on ice for about three hours. The crab is still alive, but it's in a comatose state, okay? So what I like to do to get started, I like to take these swimmer legs here, get a good grip, and place them in the corner of my sink, just like that. This pointer right here, I like to get a good grip on that, right? So I'm applying pressure with the legs this way, and I'm pulling the top shell the opposite way. I'm just gonna slowly do it, and you're gonna get that nice, satisfying sound of his head coming off. A little graphic, but whatever. Now this right here is the crab butter, right? This is the stuff that people will literally drink out of once they cook it. Yeah, not a fan, I'm sorry, okay? I'm just, just not a fan. All right, next, after that, you have this little part right here. Call it the face. I wanna call it the mouth. I just kind of grab it and twist it like so, like that. Just kind of twist off the mouth. Perfect. Next right here, these are the gills. A lot of people make the mistake of calling them lungs, but these are gills, right? AKA dead man fingers. You don't want to eat that, okay? You definitely don't want to eat that. Let's put our bag over here. So we're just going to get a knife and we're just going to scrape the gills off. Yeah, so, real simple. All right, got the gills off. Yeah, I love blue crab, seriously. All right, perfect. All right, after you get the gills off, we got the gills, we got the face. Once again, all this interior part, a lot of people really like the taste of that. They call it crab mustard, crab butter, call it guts and all. I'm not really a fan of it, so we're gonna get rid of it. So all you have to do is to do a little stream of water, all right? After a little stream of water, toothbrush. Shout out to the YouTubers, the old couple outdoors. This is where I learned this from. After that, a little toothbrush, kind of rinse it out. Get your toothbrush and just start pushing backwards. All that crab butter goodness, as some people like to call it. All right. So I'll just scrub it with a toothbrush like that. Mm hmm. So again, y'all, the crab is dead. There, then I just kind of do a combination of rinse with the toothbrush as well. Scrub them in, get them cavities. So remember, man, we're, we're deep frying this. So it's gonna be a little different in comparison to steaming and in comparison to boiling, okay? And that's it, y'all. That is how you clean a blue crab if you're not familiar. At this point, if you wanted to boil it, you can boil it. If you want it to steam it, you can steam it. But since we're gonna deep fry it, it's gonna leave it just like this. Something else though, one second. One more memento. What I need is, all right. Now, since I'm gonna be deep frying this, I'm gonna just kind of crack. And also I do this as well when I steam the crab. You just wanna kind of, just a small crack, just so that steam or water or whatever you're doing, in my case, grease, can get access to it. So I'm just gonna do some cracks along the shells. Like that. And like that. That's it, y'all. Another thing I like to do as well is to snap it. Uh, something about that sound is satisfying. I'm not a psychopath, I promise you snap it into place. Two pieces. I don't know why, it just makes it taste better because you get exposed to all that meat right there. So I snap it. All right, y'all, so I got about four more of these to go. We'll put this to the side. We'll do the whole batter, base, and deep fry, and pretty much it. Simple process, just like frying fish. Be back in a second. All right, y'all, time to base our crab clusters. 
I'm excited, man, because um, I have never done this before, so I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh yeah, side disclaimer, man. I forgot to mention when I was cleaning my crab, don't forget to take the apron off, just kind of the little pointy thing, just tear that off. I'll probably show it in another video. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a couple of eggs, okay? Take a couple of eggs here, there. Another egg here, there. And what I'm gonna do with my eggs is just, you know, do a quick whisk of the eggs to make sure that, um, you know, it's beaten properly. Okay. So we'll just whisk our eggs here like that. And this will help the flour stick to the crab. Okay. So next, excuse me y'all, we'll get our crab cluster here. We'll just take some clusters and simply mix it in there. It's like I almost know what I'm doing, right? I really don't, I've never done this before. So we're gonna get some flour. I guess I have some pancake mix. I'll probably do a couple, just experiment with that. Just to see what that's like. So I'm take about a, of flour there. We're gonna add some of that Louisiana crab boil spice that I come to love so much here. Just put that in there. There we go. And we're gonna give our dry mixture a quick little mix. like that. I need another plate. Un momento. All right, y'all. So next, we got a lot going on. Okay, so I'm taking my basic and egg crab cluster, right? Put it in here in the powder, okay? And we'll just kind of get a little mix in there. Put that there. Like I said, y'all, this is just like bacon fish. Put that there. We'll put it on a plate. It's ready to fry. Once again, we base it in egg. Put the claw there. So my assumption is this is how it's supposed to go. Like that. Simple enough. <laughs> we'll continue to um, do the same process of base it in egg. After we base it in egg, base it in flour. Like flour and seasoning mix, don't forget that. Put it on a plate. Base it in egg, base it in flour, put it on a plate. Uh oh, you gotta base it in egg, then do what, what, what? Base it in flour, well, what, what, what? Then what do you do after you base it in flour? Uh, you put it on the plate. My album dropping next fall, y'all be ready for it. So I have one, two, so I'm gonna do half and half. I'm gonna do half with this regular flour and the other half with this <sighs> pancake mix right here, y'all see that? Just add water, buttermilk, pancake mix, because why not? Why not? So let me um, dump this out. I'll put my pancake mix in. We'll do the same thing. We'll head over to the deep fryer. I think it says it takes about five minutes to do this, and we'll check it out. If everything goes well, we should have a, a money shot coming up. But I'm gonna take it to the deep fryer too. Be back. All right, y'all, so we have everything basted. This is the flour season, basic blue crabs, and this is the pancake flower season blue crab. We got our temperature up to 350 degrees. And yeah, that's it. We're gonna just drop them in separately. Let me see if I can get an angle. Hold on, let me get y'all adjusted real quick. Can y'all can y'all see me? Yeah, I'm, I'm glistening. It's all right, it's hot in this kitchen, y'all. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and drop these in. So what I'm gonna do, we'll set them in the tray first. You know what, y'all need to see this, hold on. Give me a second, I want y'all to see this. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. All right, so put this in the tray. Set 
so. Like that. So five crabs, a total of 10 clusters because I break them in half. There we go. All right, so next, I'm gonna slowly, because you got some, remember you got water in those crabs, so slowly dip them like that. Ooh, you can just taste the southern goodness. And that's it. So we'll just let those sink and cook for about five. Another good reason to have a deep fryer. Way more safer than trying to do this on your stove. There we go. All right. So we'll cook those for about five minutes. Um, check on with them. Then we'll do the pancake batter ones. If everything goes well, we'll have a good money shot and do a taste test and comparison and we'll see. Almost done. Yeah. y'all and there you have it it looks delicious okay but quite honestly i've never eaten anything deep fried that was not good like factual so what i'm gonna do this is the flower one i'm just gonna take that swimmer leg let's break off that swimmer Ooh. okay see that this is a swimmer look at that aroma now before i put any butter on i just want to taste it fresh hold on mmm It tastes real clean. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Hold on, let me get a little butter on it. Just a, just a tad of butter. A little, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hold on. Mmm. Oh my god. It was a 10, but butter makes it a 20. Mmm. 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 I'm trying to resist eating the shell. I don't think you should be able to eat the shell. I think when it comes to blue crab, you can only eat like a blue crab that has a really soft shell. Do not eat a blue crab that has a hard shell. Okay, that's delicious. Now this is the one that I, you see that? Whatever. This is the buttermilk pancake one. Let's get the swimmer. It's my favorite part. Ooh. That fur. Mmm. Oh wow. Cause like even though you're not eating the, the actual shell, I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference. Do a little butter. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I take that back. The pancake one tastes better for some reason. Let me get another piece. I, I gotta be biased. One more piece, hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, if you never had deep fried blue crab, you are missing out. Mmm. It was a long day yesterday. It took me about six or seven hours to cast net, fish, and catch blue crabs. But that was worth it, man. <sighs> deep fried blue crab. Who would have thunk it? Well, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you join my family and subscribe. Once again, my name is Ray Roy, AKA Fishing Trips. And it's been real, y'all. Peace. What can I do? What can I do? 7.38. All right, checking our crab free lines. Why does it feel so light? I'm like, why does it feel so light? Cause my chicken is gone. The bastard took my chicken. All right, bet. Bet.
to my whole chicken. So that's the game we play today. Fine then, no mercy. No mercy today, man. Everything five inches and up getting kept. They got me for my chicken. Game on, gentlemen and ladies, game on. All right, all right, all right. Let's get the day started. So what I have today, I'll be working my six double ring drop nets. I'll be using chicken. Chicken seems to be the best bait of all time when it comes for crabs or the most popular bait. I have not tried fish yet. Y'all let me know in the comments, does fish work better than chicken when it comes to crabbing? All right, in addition, I'll be using free line, six free lines, right? Um, once again, I got this kit that came with the little bait clip that came with the yarn, took the yarn off. I don't like the yarn. I bought a kite handle, attached it to the clip, and that's our modification, right? I'll try to put the link below on how I did this. And you can get it too. So yeah, we got six of these. With that being said, with six nets and six free lines, I should have a goal today of a minimum 12 crabs. Now, I've never been to this spot before, all right? I've never been to this spot before, so we'll see. It's going to be a mystery to me and y'all if I'm going to catch anything today. Another thing is, every time I go to a new crabbing spot, every other comment, excuse me, the motorcycle person got to show how big his balls are. One more second. Every time I go to a new crabbing spot, Everybody will ask me, where's the spot at? Where's the spot at? Listen, y'all, these crabbing spots are small, right? This is not like Texas City Dyke, Surfside Jetty, where there's miles of fishing places to go, right? So these crabbing spots are small. But I would, what I will do, though, I'm not going to blow up the crabbing spots, right? Me as a YouTuber, I know I got enough influence that if I put the name and title of these crabbing spots that I go to, it's going to be shoulder to shoulder within a week. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that YouTuber. But if you look around, you'll see certain landmarks. If you're able to find out where I'm at based off the landmarks of my video, more power to you. Come get them. All right, y'all. So 12. 12 traps. We need 12 crabs today. I think I can do it. Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go. <sighs> All right, y'all. First thing first, I'm going to start dropping. It's almost 7 o'clock. So we'll, um, there we go. I don't know how deep this pier is. Let's see. Two, three. Bro, that's it. Oh man, that's only maybe like three feet. Oh, that's nothing. It's all good though. It's all to the good. We can work with that. So normally when I try a new spot, y'all, um, I just pretty much scout it out. You know what I'm saying? There's multiple locations on a pier. So I'll start maybe at the right side of the pier then go to the left side the metal okay this part over here is way deeper for some reason it's like at least two or three feet deeper so yeah i just continue to scout around the area until i actually catch something what time is it i try to check my traps within 10 to 15 minute increments preferably 15 minutes if the crab is hot i'll check it every 10 minutes and um yeah. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Don't follow me. Don't fall. Wait, wait. This pier is crooked. <clears throat> so, yeah, I try to check it in 10 to 15 minute increments. And there we go. Yeah, I can see that. Here we go. How deep is it on this side? Two, three. Okay, it's deeper over here. So yeah, man, I'll just kind of span out the entire area, whether it's a boat ramp up here, I'll just start maybe at the front, both sides, work my way to the left, work my way to the right, and see if I can find them. Now, if I find them, you know, I go from spreading out my nets and free lines and just kind of condensing down. I'll condense them down to um, a smaller area. There we go. Yeah, I gotta make sure I like tie down my tie down my nets. Cause the buoy is great, right? You can just pull it over. But I've quickly learned on two occasions that you have to tie them down. Especially if you don't know the spot. Cause I had an alligator try to take one of my damn nets and an alligator gar try to take one of my damn nets. 
So now I time down when all possible. All right. There we go. Yeah, yeah I saw maybe a it had to been how big was that gator? 10 foot gator at the Trinity River Dam. I also saw um, another spot where a damn alligator gar. That gar had to be about five feet. It was like thick. Took my chicken and tried to swim off with it. It dropped it because I had my damn thing tied to the, the pier. I learned that I need to tie my nets to the pier after the damn alligator tried to take my damn net and chicken. So I know if I ever want to catch an alligator or an alligator gar, apparently those bastards eat chicken as they try to take mine. See, the nets are light work, bro. The nets are light work. Hold on, y'all. This pier is hella crooked. The free line, free line and craftsman is fun, but it gives me so much damn anxiety. It's like the line never comes up. You don't know if the crab's gonna see you, if it's gonna let go. Something I did learn on my last two crabbing trips, I haven't been filming all my crabbing trips, is that, um, you should definitely, if the crab drops your chicken when you put it in, drop your chicken too, right? Don't pull your chicken back. If you got a crab on, and when you're when that crab's holding it, right? If it drops the chicken, drop the chicken with it. Just wait about 10 seconds, and the crab is going to pick that chicken right back up. There's a couple of dudes at the end fishing on this pier. I'm not sure how good the fishing is. When I pull it up, I see maybe like, I don't know, eight trucks. I'm like, oh, this spot must be hot. But all those people were just catching bait with um, cast nets. So apparently this spot is good for bait. All right, so next one I'm going to do over here, I'll show y'all, is we're going to set up our free lines right here. There we go. Now I want to put it along the pilings over here. And the reason is, this is just too high to try to pull up, right? But this is perfect, right? This is perfect for free lining, where I can easily pull my string in and get my net, and bam, we good to go. Um, I think this pier was damaged in some kind of hurricane, but it's since been repaired and whatnot. My beautiful surroundings. Once again, if you notice any landmarks, if you notice any landmarks, if you can figure out where I'm at, come check it out. Hopefully this is a good crabbing spot. I got my ultralight rod to do some, um, some casting. I always say like when I go crabbing, I'm also gonna go fishing too, but the reality of it is I never have time, man. Damn, crabs keep me busy, jumping net to net to net. All right, so let me get my free line set up. Like I said, we're gonna check in in 15 minute increments. The first round of pulls is kind of like an indication of how the day might go. If I get a keeper on the first round, we're going to have a solid day. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's do the first pull or round of pulls and see if we can get lucky. Looks like I said, this one don't feel that like super deep. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, nothing. Right, that was not that deep. I'll probably toss it out a little bit farther just to see. Okay, this one's a little bit deeper. <clears throat> Ooh, yes. Got one. And it looks like it's a keeper. It looks like it's a keeper, baby. It's about five and five and a half. First keeper crab of the day. Put her in the bucket. All right, one down. 12 more to go to go. Wait, nah, that's a size desiccation. One down, 11 more to go to go. Hit 
it doesn't feel big. Oh, we're swimming with it though. Oh, it's a keeper though. It's a keeper. Can I get my chicken back, buddy? Get a measurement on her. It's close to a keeper. It's nice and brown though. This defense mechanism is on point. There we go. Male. Check our gauge. Oh yeah, solid keeper. Another keeper, man. A little rusty. They're not giants, but they're keepers. So if I can catch some bigger ones, we'll exchange them. But for now, let's keep it popping. There we go. <laughs> All right. I like that. They're catching so much bait with some cast nets. All these ponds right here, to me, seems like a good area. It's not a good area to do some flounder fishing, honestly. So they got this whole part like locked down, catching pinfish, shads. Yeah, man, it's a dude over here kayaking too, over there underneath the bridge. So who knows, I might have to bring my kayak out here one day. I gotta see him hook up though. There's some other people over here crabbing as well and fishing. She just threw like a, that looked like a damn redfish as bait. But I gotta see somebody catch something before I become committed to um, coming out here to fish. I don't know if this area has fish. But if I'm watching three, five, eight people fish and nobody's catching fish, it tells me all I need to know. What is that? So like I said, he's, they're catching a ton of bait. A ton of bait. Kind of make me want to get my cast net. You know what, y'all? I think I might get my cast net. If it remains slow, I'm going to get my cast net and see if I can catch some mullet. Damn. And use mullet as bait for my crab traps for the first time and just test it out. I want to really test it out. All right, let's check our free lines and we'll do another round and possibly get our cast net to try to catch some mullet and use mullet as crab bait. See if it works. Comparison. All right, so small female with one claw. You can tell by the apron over here. More oval, it's not pointy like a, you know, the P word. So yeah. My gauge is over here. I don't think it's five inches. Even though it's five inches, it's a female. If it was five inches, I'm putting it back. I know I said no mercy in my last um, clip. I was a little angry, but I'm okay now. Let's put it back. There's a ton of mullet over here. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I need mullet and not chicken over here in this area. I'm gonna get my cast net. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. Got one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all had me down on myself for a second. Youngin, youngin had me down on myself for a second. There we go. Male, nice keeper. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, all right. It's gotta be patient right now. It's gotta be patient. I think that's three. But nine more to go. You. Okay, this one over here looks like it's getting pulled. Yeah, this one got some tension on it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this one got tension on it. It's a keeper because it's swimming with the chicken. Only the big ones. 
can smell with the chicken. I'm a chicken up. Back she goes. Once again, I need to probably bring my more nets over here. There we go, male. I think this y'all better look of them. There you go. Yeah, nice size male. If you're new to crabbing. From tip to tip has to be five inches. As you can see, this bad boy is way more than five inches. Probably six. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, it's so heavy. Here we go. Nice one. All right, so we got a good one over here. A big one, y'all. Male. And this is one of the new spots that we just prospect, so maybe we need to move over here. We'll test the other ones. Oh, he's not letting go. Nice. I was just about to move it. Just because I was just about to move it, produces. It happens like that every time. Definitely a keeper, but for good measure. We... Yeah, we're good. Five and a half. This one I was about to move it, it gets caught up. Let me put this one in a bucket and we're gonna go back to cast netting. So I want to catch some mullet for bait. So freaking hard. Halfway here. You know what? I'm just gonna grab one here and just like one here. Go right back to where he was at. Jesus Christ. I tell y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not joking. Clearly the fish know. I don't know what I'm doing either. Come on. Come on, Renault. You are college educated, bro. You can figure out how to throw a piece of damn plastic. It is not that complicated. Let me wind up my stance a little bit. Here we go. Let me try this side. One time. It's not even a whip. I just kind of have it open and fanning it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. We got shad. I don't want shad. But that was a good cast though. And paid off clearly. Alright. We'll come back to the cast net later. For now. Oh, he caught a, a nice crab on his pole. <laughs> oh, he caught a nice crab on his pole. That was a good catch. Alright. We'll come play with this later because I feel myself getting frustrated and fishing, fishing not supposed to be frustrating, right? But that net, that net right there pisses me to death. All right, so free lines are not producing. I gave this side of the pier about two hours. I think we got about seven keepers. Yeah, I want to say seven keepers on my counter. Um, is at 3.5 crabs per hour. I'm gonna try the left side of the pier. 
Then that's the other little other pier with no signs or railings, which is kind of sketch. But I'll try that one out too. Let me start moving my free lines. I can't free line though on the high side of the pier. Let me figure it out. I'll be back and I'll let y'all know another update. So let's do one more pull before we we like hey, all our nets. This is your last time to produce. You better do something. And of course, it catches one. Every time I'm thinking about moving it, it lands one. All right. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got a runner. We got a runner. We got it back. We got it back. Solid keeper. Yeah, man. Every time I'm like, I'm about to move my nets. I catch one. All right, nothing's producing with the nets anymore. It's been a while since I caught my last keeper crab. This over here looks interesting. Oh, is that a boat ramp? Oh, this is a boat ramp. I didn't even notice that. I bet this might be flounder over there, man. Let me move my free lines to the section over here. Let me grab my rod and reel. Let me catch a fish. I have a list of crabbing spots, right? On Google Maps that I have not been to yet, never been to. This is another spot I came out here for the first time to try it out. I'm gonna try to see what's the next nearest crab spot on my list of places to check out. If it's reasonable, then I'll go to the secondary spot. Um, I got a feel for this one so far. Crabs aren't that big, but so far when it comes to crabbing, man, pier, pier crabs are just smaller compared to the boat ramp um, crabs. I'd say boat ramp, man. There's a boat ramp at the pier and a boat ramp at the other one, but the other one's gonna be like a creek. You know what I'm saying? A bayou has really bigger crabs. But I, I need to get locked in. All the other people out here just got their strings with their water bottles attached. I'm trying to figure it out. These crabs are like Bobby Fisher because we're out here playing chess. I think the chickens, not the chickens, the birds. I think the birds are trying to eat my chicken. Has anybody ever used one of those white, majestic looking birds for cut bait? All right, let me regroup. We're gonna relocate the free lines. And get it figured out. All right, y'all. So I'm at spot number two. <clears throat> Once again, I'm here for crabbing. Now, this so happened. This particular spot is very popular for flounder during flounder season. So while I'm here, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and toss out my little blue shrimp. I do have some gulp um, as well, but. Before I do all that, let me just do some test casts so I get any nibbles or bites before I commit to bringing out the goat. We'll check our nets in yeah, 10 minutes or so and see what we can do. Once again, this is not a fishing episode. This is a crabbing episode. But if I can catch me a flounder, it's going to be a crossover episode. All right, I've arrived to spot number three. That's right, one, two, three. Your boy is fighting for his life out here to not make this video, AKA episode, an L. All right, so I'm at one of my um, spots. It's looking pretty, pretty muddy and, yeah, yeah, it looks, looks horrible actually. Yeah. Mm. Well, that could be good because the water level's up, right? Crabs seem to bite or eat when the tide is very high. This is promising. I have all the entire boat dock to myself. I have no excuses. So let's get it done. Oh, oh no. It's a snake. It just dove under the water. Where you at, bastard? I know you can't look at that big boy right there, y'all. 
Look at that, y'all see that? What the hell is that? Okay, well, note the self about putting my damn hand. Let's see, I get y'all a closer look. Oh, it's diving. Wait, wait, where the hell you go? Where it go, where it go? Snakes can't breathe underwater, so they gotta come up eventually. Oh, there it go. Look, 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 look. Look, it's on the bank. It's along the bank. Y'all see it? I see it. Look at that. Whoa. It just ducked under. Not good. Not good because I don't know where it went. You gotta come up eventually, homie. But this don't come up on shore. Where the hell it go? Where you go? Okay, so the snake just dove down and it never came back up. And I gotta grab my lines, so that's frightening. All right, right now, be vigilant, because um, I don't know what kind of snake that is. I'll be honest with you. I don't care if it was non-venomous or not. A snake is a snake in my book. They're all the same. I gotta burn the spot now. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's like underneath the dock. This net, it's brand new, so I ain't used it yet. Come back and get it. Come here, little bastard. Looks like it's tingling up on my line almost. Got him. Got him. Nice. Can I get my chicken back? There we go. Keep it. There we go. Alright, nice little male. Let's get a measurement on him. Tip to tip, gotta be five. Keeper. Alright, now this spot right here, this spot is crazy. It's just, it's like, you really never know. And it's crazy, you gotta get at an angle too and snatch it quick. Ugh, got one. See, I told you. Can you look at my chicken? Thank you. Alright, y'all. Got us a keeper. Set it back. Watch off the gators, baby. I'm gonna bring another net over here for real. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Set the gauge on it. Yep, we solid. We are solid. Not a giant, but he, yep, he is legal. This makes number 10, I believe. Another boat ramp, one over here. Check it out. Oh, got one. Yes. See, the boat ramp produces, bro. Okay, it's easier to just flip them in. If you try to grab them with the tongs, then they'll try to just hold on to the net, too. So. When you just flip them, they'll just release. There we go. Another keeper. Is it a female? Nope, male. In Texas, you can keep females. This is the one without eggs. Perfect. Keeper. I just need one more. A dozen. You know, my whole new thing with crabbing y'all is that I should get a minimum 12, like, I'm coming all the way from Houston. I'm coming home with these 12 crabs, period. And if they're the smaller legal ones, quite honestly, it should be two dozen. If 
frankly. All my free lines are just getting pushed over here. It's not gonna work. I think I'm gonna put all my free lines on the other side behind y'all. Not on the muddy side, but on the right hand side. See if I get better results. I'll be back. All right, so I have my free lines back on that side, I know. And now you had them over there. You brought them over here. Now you take, that's what you have to do sometimes, damn it. You gotta adjust. If they're not over here, you gotta move over there. Now over here, you gotta move over there. Just move it everywhere. All my free lines are over there on that side. Nothing producing free lines over there. That side over there is super muddy. I don't know, I don't know. I'm about to check my nets. They're all at the boat ramp. I need one more to meet my dozen goal today. Minimum dozen goal today. It's like 1.30. Got like an hour and a half to get it done. I swear to God, I swear to you. Y'all, if it takes me an hour and a half to catch one crab, I'm quitting crabbing. This will be the last crabbing video you ever see on Fish and Trips channel, I'll tell you. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. It's factual, man. I, I know what you're saying, Renal, are you a quitter? Yes, 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 I actually am. I'm a huge quitter. Cause if I don't like it, if it's not fun, then I'm quitting, period. With that being said, let's take the boat ramp. I know I'm gonna get, Bro, now I know it. I am gonna get this 12 keeper before the deadline. Let go. Alright, y'all. It's a possibility that number 12 is now pulling our chicken. Yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Come to daddy, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, no, 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 no. No. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Let's go. <sighs> number 12 looks like a keeper, too. All right. It is not a monster by chance, but it is a male. Looks like a keeper. Here we go. Yeah, the Michael Jackson was a mosquito though. Like, yeah, thriller, you know. And we got 1,000% keeper. Boom. Number 12. We did it. Two o'clock with an hour to spare. Oh, what an hour to spare. All right, so now at this point, new goal is to see how many I can catch above 12 from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. If the answer is nothing, then I'll see you in the kitchen if I cook. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a kitchen cook yet. I'm tired, I'm, I'm upset. But we did hit our goal. If this is the end of the video, make sure you thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, whatever, I don't care. I'm hot, I'm thirsty, and I'm hungry. I'm sorry. That's not your fault. It's not your fault. Give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. My back. I'm sorry, y'all. That's not your fault. I'm sorry. All right. Y'all forgive me? Y'all forgive me? Bet. Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. Check it, man. I got a good one today. I'm doing a survival challenge. I'm only going to eat what I catch. If I don't catch anything, I'm going to die, y'all. I here at the Texas City Dyke. Help! No, I got it. I got it. So check it out, man. So particularly the turkey species. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going for the a-holes of the sea, a.k.a. blue crabs. If I can catch some crabs, y'all, I'm going to do a catch, clean, and cook boil edition on the beach. I'm going to try to fish too, just in case I don't catch any crabs because I'm, I'm really hungry. I got to eat something, y'all. Personally, I think I can do it. I want to take a peek. I want to take a peek. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let's go. Oh, my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve 
All the bad and the hurt I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this Alright y'all, so I'm doing great man It's currently 6.27 I'm already getting sweaty Sweating like a stripper in church but I'm doing good, man. So sun is coming up. Let's talk about my gear. Now it's been about two years since I went crab fishing. Two years. I got embarrassed. There's a video on my channel. I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out below. I don't want to talk about it. But I came back bigger and better. So we have the crab pots, right? Double ring, heavy duty, right? We got the buoy to keep it up top. I got 50 line, 50 foot of line with a clip knot clip sling, whatever you want to call it. And we also got the bait bag. I'm gonna put some chicken in there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm a turn chickens to crabs. Simple enough, right? Come on, let's go. All right. So like I said, y'all, I haven't tried these before. I tried those really cheap stringy ones, got jacked. So hopefully these would be better. I even bought those pods the ones you have to with the buoy you gotta put your name on it it's a, it's a hassle nothing but I'm feeling confident about this I'm confident about this bait bag as well because you know they normally take my bait not this time though so I got four pods and salmonella 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 whatever I don't know I'm gonna put about two thighs in each pod there we go so two thighs in each pod excuse me be back alright these things are heavy as hell super heavy so like I said we'll put two thighs in each one and I think we should be good Open up me a crab restaurant. <laughs> Call it fish and crabs. Here we go. Let's get the chicken. Oh yeah. Chicken is nice and bloody. <sighs> oh, oh. Okay. I just dropped two legs. Two thighs in the water. Actually we dropped two thighs in the water. It's okay though. We're just chumming. There we go. Yeah, I do plan on using some live shrimp to fish. <laughs> One more. All right. So I got my bait basket linked to the actual cage. Let's open it up. Put two thighs in there. All right. How many thighs I got? Still got two thighs left. I might as well throw it in there because I ain't about to use this chicken again. Close that net up. So 3,000 that one. Put one more in this one. All right. I'm good, man. Let me rinse off my hands before I put it in my damn cell. All right, y'all. We got our four pots set up. Let's start dropping. I don't know what I'm doing, but how many I need? I need a minimum four crabs for me to do a catch clean and cook. Oh God, first time I'm using this, so it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. A lot of trial and error. There we go. Drop it up a couple times. There's a lot of rocks over here. We'll drop another one here. Here we go. One, two, three. 
about three feet, give or take. Point of Jason over here on the rocky side. Here we go. Make sure there's no rocks. I don't want to lose my pod. Yeah, she's down. It's not deep over there at all. All right, one more pod. I kinda wanna take it over there, but I wanna keep in a general area. Okay. Yeah, we wanna take one on the other side. I'll be back. All right. So I'm gonna be stationed over here, but I just wanna put this pot over here at the end. Matter of fact, the one I put over there on the right hand side, I should probably, bro, these boards look sketch. Oh my God. I'm walking on these with way too much confidence. Okay, super sketch, super sketch. All right, so we wanna put one over here. I think I'm gonna move the other one. I wanna put it over here on this other side in the middle. You know, have some diversity with my drops. What the hell? Okay, there we go. How deep is that? One, two. It's not deep. Four feet. Go. All right. The birds even have confidence in me. Okay. So let's um head back to our station. I don't know how often I should check them. Let me see. Six thirty-nine. Maybe like thirty-minute increments or an hour. I'm thinking 30 minutes. I'll set my timer for 30 minutes because if I catch something, I don't want to miss it. Then it's taken from there. Let me put my chicken back up. Like I say, I do have some live bait because I'm not going to sit here and do nothing. Do some fishing. So yeah, so we got one here, one there, one over there, one here by the rocks. Let's see what happens. In the meantime, I'm ready to do some fishing. Lego. Was well, on. Looks like it might be a red. That's promising. That's promising. I'm thinking red. Or is it a big ugly? Uh, shark. Oh yeah, that's some kind of shark. No thank you. I mean, I never, I never cooked the shark before. I'm not sure what the regulations are on sharks. Black tip, I'm not sure. Y'all wanna see me do a catch clean and cook shark if I catch one? All right, y'all, so this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. It's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna check our crab pods and see if we got anything. I think I'm gonna starve today. Oh man, this is so much work. <laughs> has been put into 
do what I'm about to try to do. All right, so look, got my crab measure right there. Crab tongs and crab blood. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh man, this is about to be funny. All right, here we go. Again, I get some ready. And pull up, pull up, pull up. Crab, 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 crab. I got a seashell. One seashell. It's not good. Not good. Let's try this one over here. One seashell. It's not good. All right. Part number two. Ready. Oh, that wasn't even deep. Not a. Not a. Okay. Strike two. Strike two. Here we go. Number three, number three. Got a good feeling about this one. Got a good feeling about this one. What the hell? Bunch of hermit crabs. I can't eat you. Can't eat you, bub. It's just a bunch of hermit crab show. Uh, then we're gonna have to relocate. Let's put it back though. We got one more over there. All right, so, so far, so far not so good. I only caught some damn hermit crabs. I don't know. There's a couple of um, piers that way. I'm gonna have to relocate. I'll give this spot maybe another additional 30 minutes before I, I try a different area. I don't know. If I can say, I don't know. We'll try um, this one over here. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is the one. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. It looks like it's a keeper too. And it looks like it's a keeper too. Nice solid one, baby. All right, y'all. Problem, I left my bucket over there. And I'm not too familiar on how to grab these properly. You're supposed to grab it by the back hinge, right? Let me see if I can do this. Okay, right now, man up, man up. Man up, nope, nope. Man up. He's peeing. He's peeing. Let me see if I can just grab him by that swimmer thing they talk about. I gotta take it back to the bucket. Whoa, no. Turn around. Oh, it is really trying to get me. Okay, right now. Oh. Alright, y'all. Give me a second to get acclimated to what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I don't want to lose it. So what we're going to do is just go get my bucket. And that's how you do it, baby. That is how you do it. Yo. Let's go the back in. All right, y'all, so we have our one keeper 
first blue crab keeper. Excited about that. Put it for him an ice bucket. There you go. See that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need about three more of those to make a proper catch killing cook. I know y'all think I'm greedy, but that's a lot of work to set up the stove, kitchen. Give me three more keepers. What I'm gonna do is, the one I have over here, I wanna move another one over there in that area because three strikes, one keeper. I put it over there. All right, come on, let's keep moving. Got company. Our company. So we'll see. That for the press? Yes, sir. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, y'all. So something super important. One second. There you go. All right, y'all. So I've been out here for about setting up. I think an hour and forty-five minutes. Coming up on two hours. Super important, man. I forgot to hydrate. Kind of out of sight, out of mind. So busy trying to get everything set up. Water. Now I will say, my last two trips I went out. When I went to, um, I think it was Jesse Jones Park, fishing the bayou. Only had like 20 ounces of water. Ran out. With an hour left in the trip to go. There I went to Moses Lake. When I went to Moses Lake, I had like this canister right here, 64 ounces of water. I was out there traveling for like six hours, six miles, six to eight miles, run out of water the last mile. So I got pretty much two of these, one here, one in the truck. I'm not running out of water this time. Because as you know, the summer heat around Texas do not play. Easily 90 to 100, feels like 200 degrees. So um, I have a little bell that I can put on that. So I have to keep watching it. So let me get that. Once again, y'all gonna be out here fishing, hydrate, drink every 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And also, however much water you think you need to bring, bring twice as much. It's a good cast. My man's on right there. Already on. Already on. What do you got? I got all this gear. He showed up in some Crocs, a t-shirt, and some shorts. Landed something. Experience, man. These old timers, bro, they got experience for a reason. Got him. He's just smoking a cigarette, taking his time with it. So OG right there, y'all. Got to respect the game. Got to respect the game. What is it? What is it? Come on, G. I think say a black sheep. Trout. Nice. All right. So nothing but hermit crabs on um those particular ones I need to move them because that's not working that guy he just showed up caught him a keeper trout like in five minutes but he lives in this area so he probably knows this area like the back of his hand I'm gonna watch him though because you know my my motto my theory my strategy you see somebody catching fish you literally go shoulder to shoulder with them, cast right on top of them, tangling under the line. Call it a pot licking, I call it being smart. All right. Looking for a good spot, y'all. That over there looks good. Be scared, get it up, get it up, get it up. No, no. Yeah, I kind of thought that was gonna happen. Ton of rocks. 
Nah, I don't wanna risk it. Too many rocks. I can't pull it up, man. There we go. Bring my pole out here. Yeah, let's bring my pole out here. I want to back my truck out here. All right, y'all. So, slight relocation. Packed my stuff on the truck. Gonna back up. Attempt to back up. Go to our fish off the rocks. Let's see how this goes. What's the worst thing that happen? I can die. That's the worst thing that happen. I know that one little nibble didn't do it. I know that one little bite. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Oh. Oh, it's still on it. Oh, shoot. Croker, croker. I need some cut bait. I need some cut bait. Uh, yes. Oh. Speckled trout. <laughs> what is back you, little buddy? <laughs> Here we go. All right. This gives us hope that there's fish out there. I hooked it different, so maybe that's a strategy. No hooking on the horn, just hooking in the body so I can get a better hook set. Yeah, we'll see. All right. I need a keeper. Fishing for survival, let's go. All right, so my timer just went off. Time to check the crab pods. These over here by the sand. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be any difference. <laughs> Just don't get stuck in the rocks, baby. You ready? <sighs> Somebody popping over there. Come on, come on, get up, get up. Oh, got one. Got a baby. Got a baby. All right, it's not a keeper. What's he gets his hope? Ouch. It's the little one's trying to get you, boy. She gets his hope. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Go and go, you got it. No, no, I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you, but you got it. <laughs> Spread it back. Delicious, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta figure out and get an idea of what this is. Let me take a photo, post it on Facebook, and see what the limit is on these things. All right, y'all. So, I'm currently trying to get a crab ID on that crab I just caught. The way I get my crab ID is send a text message to my friends, post it on Facebook. Those legs look familiar. I can't remember what they call though mud crab. Dunsin' and crab, ain't no Dunsin' in no damn Texas City. So as soon as I get an ID on it, figure out the legal size, probably jump on Google, see if I can eat it, hope I can eat it. If so, that's two down, two more to go for my crab ball. Yo. All right, y'all, so we got a crab ID. Apparently it's a stone crab. And you can keep the right claw, if it's two and a half inches from the tip of the claw to the first joint, If it's two and a half inches, I gotta figure out how to take off the claw. Let's measure it real quick and see what happens. Oh God. All right. Right claw, two and a half inches, first joint. That's gonna be my measurement three. 
right claw from tip, two and a half inches. Oh, oh, y'all look at that. From tip of claw, it's like first joint. It's almost three and a half, four inches. All right, so check it out. From the tip of claw to the first joint has to be two and a half inches. <laughs> Midway to his claw is two and a half, so it's about three inches. So now, how the hell do you take off the joint? All right, now I'm subscribed to Darcy Dizzle Outdoors. I've seen her do this before. And apparently like, just kind of twist it. Now I'm getting my pliers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I believe you just twist it and it's gonna pop, pop right off allegedly. Once again, two and a half inches. Yep, this bad boy is about three and a half inches. So if I grab it, I think I just twist and the joint comes out. Actually, I think if you get a knife and put it in the hinge, it comes off. Or do I just grab it? No, I think I'm gonna grab it. Hold on. I'm just gonna take your right claw. Okay. Release. Release! I'm sorry, buddy. I'm hungry. Oh, come on. At the joint. At the joint. Okay. Right there at the joint, y'all. Twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Come off. Pop off. Oh, it's coming off. It's coming off. We did it. Oh my God, we did it. All right, let's get it back in. All right, Lefty. You've been a real one. Come on. Thanks for participating. I promise you, your claw's not going to go in vain. Yeah. Super proud of myself. We did it, y'all. Nice joint. Tip measures first joint it's like three and a half almost four inches put her in a tank with my blue yes all right so we still we still don't have enough I need about either four of those crab legs keep her fish cloud curve is coming up let me get some rest, cool off. I'm gonna get back at it. Yeah. All right, another cool off session. Oh my God. It's been an hour. Got a couple of good croaker for cut bait. Or well, live bait, actually. I'm soaking one now that I'm watching. Um, my crab pods have been soaking for an hour. It's now 11.05. Uh, for four hours staying hydrated praying that that big cloud over there comes and meets the sun so i can check my crab pods it's been an hour it's been an hour i guess i need at least four crabs i feel to be able to do a proper catch and cook boil so next time you see me if I'm not dead, I'll be checking my crab pots. You. Yeah. What if I catch a redfish with my crab pot? Is it legal to keep it? Anyway, anyway, let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, oh yes. We got it. We got some good ones, y'all. We got one keeper and another stone crab. I'm pretty sure the stone crab is not a keeper, though. Oh, no, I keep it getting my bucket. Oh my god! 
that one is all muddy and juicy looking. Okay, hold on, wait. There we go. That, look at that keeper. About eight inches, y'all. No eggs, male, brown. Nice. Oh no, it's gonna get out. It wasn't a keeper, I don't think. Where'd he go? Oh, the rock crab got out. Did it? Oh wait, there she go, I see it. I see the rock crab. How the hell you get out? I'm trying to catch me, she's looking, buddy. Look just like a rock. Come here. Oh, there's this whole fish in there. Okay, y'all. My rock crab is there. I don't know if it's a keeper, though. But we're gonna find out. Bro, it got itself wedged. <clears throat> Come here. Oh, you bastard. I'm about to grab you. Grab you by your swimmers. It has itself wedged in. Like a damn rock. The irony. But, oh. oh my god, it's not coming out. Oh, that looks like a keeper. Come here, you bastard. Come on, gotcha. Okay, another rock crab. That's how I use pliers. This one technique in which I saw on YouTube if you get into the joint with a knife it will just come off Let's see if it's easier like that watch it buddy twist it like that there we go another one it's two Where did that come from? Oh my god. Excuse weight. Where did I even come from, y'all? Got rats running. <sighs> Great. So hot. So freaking hot. Um, what time is it? Oh, oh, my gear is acting up. There we go. So hot, so freaking hot. 12 o'clock. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to cool my body down. I already went through 64 ounces of water. Going through my second jug canister. Um, I got two blue crabs, two stone crab claws. I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna do this catch and cook at the house. I'm looking for a pond. I wanted that one taken. Let's see, look. That one taken. Damn families, go do something. It's a porta potty one. 
I don't want to be doing no catch and cook by no porta potty. Oh, the pods are taken. Super annoying. Hold on, I think it's one right here. I think it's one right here. This one looks promising. Let's go check it out. Get a closer look. Oh, my throat hurts. Everything hurts. Out of shade. Oh. Oh. oh my god. So hot. I think I can work with this y'all. Catch and cook right here. Crab mm. bowl. Alright. Let me um reverse my truck take a nap and I'll be back it's been about 15 minutes and I'm still trying to cool off I'm really trying to convince myself to finish this damn vlog get out there but the fact that I need to get out of this truck set up a kitchen to turn on a fire to cook and this 100 degree weather makes no sense to me. I can just go home and do it. But it's not the same, man. This is a survival challenge. I'm trying to survive. Y'all yeah, know if I die, I technically didn't didn't surpass pass the survival challenge or beat the survival challenge. So hot, man. I don't, I don't see how y'all do it. Oh, yeah. I'm not built for this, man. Heat is my kryptonite. Heat is my kryptonite, man. We all got our, our weak points. Heat is it for me. That takes all the energy out of me, all the creativity out of me. I just want, like, just give me 70 degree weather, man. I don't remember it being this hot last summer. Maybe I wasn't outside, and I just don't recall. But, um,. Yeah, y'all. I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm gonna be one through one of these. I went through that. I'm halfway through this. Okay. Now, technically, I said my goal was to get four crabs to do this catch and cook boil. I got two blue crabs, two stone crab claws, right claws three inches long three and a half inches long I didn't take them damn crab legs from them crabs for nothing not that I'm gonna throw them away I can just do this at home in my kitchen but nah man I gotta do it for y'all I gotta do it out here I gotta die out here pretty much just give me a cloud man I don't understand how I've got all these clouds around, but none of them are directly over the sun. It's 12 o'clock. Tell myself I'll be done with this challenge and be back home by 11 a.m. But here I am. Oh my God. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. All right, y'all. All right, all right. Get out this truck. I'm going to set my kitchen up. And I'm going to do this catch and cook. Crab boil. Come on, let's go. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. So close right now. How long is it going to take me to cook this? I've got to boil crabs for like 15 minutes. i got corn, potatoes. So also 15 minutes. I got this, I got this. This is how legends are made. I ain't your average YouTuber, y'all. I'm bringing y'all the original dope content. If I die. Okay, I can do this. Okay, here we go, here we go. One, two, three, go. No, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. I got this, go, let's go. All right. All right, y'all. 
If you're still watching, you're a real one. Cause I know I was ready to quit about 10 times throughout this video. So what we're gonna do now is get our kitchen set up for the cook portion of the episode. I have a little table, but what's the point of bringing it out if I'm um, I have this instead. There we go. Fancy. Fancy right now. Right. Okay. All right, this is gonna be a challenge. Nice and windy. That's the way I like it. We're making progress, as you can see. We need water. I have not used the stove in a while. So you're gonna have to bear with me as I try to remember how to use it. That wind is winding. Okay, push button start. Some gas. Gas. Oh, come on. What the f was that? Oh, there we go. Oh, I just can't even see it. It's already lit. It's definitely lit. Oh, yeah, it's lit. I couldn't even see it. I don't know how long it's gonna take the ball. All right, we're cooking, baby. I see that. All right, trying to lock the wind. All right, so that's good. All right, y'all. So I'm boiling my water might take a while because it's so windy out here I don't know it's hard enough to boil water in those type of pans at home so hopefully it's gonna work we need to be able to boil that water I think in 10 to 15 minutes I'm cooking corn potatoes blue crab and stone crab cloth with butter theoretically this will work I use a little Louisiana, Louisiana fish products, crawfish shrimp bowl. This is my favorite one to use, especially when I love um, snow crabs. Bam, all day, every day. So we're gonna do a simple little slit. Now the recipe, I don't know. Here we go. We don't got a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, pot's not that big. Okay, so. <clears throat> This is, this is smidgen. This is smidgen. Like I say, the star of the show. This one right here looks mean. Look at that one. It's all brown. I don't know if it's good to eat, but we're gonna find out. I don't care. Woo! We got boiling water, y'all. It only took half an hour. Only took half an hour, but we cooking. We cooking, baby. We cooking, baby. Here's my other one. Yeah. Nice and good. There we go. All right. And I'm really looking forward to these, man. Everybody's telling me that stone crab legs are good. You can take one, two and a half inches. Call two. It's from my first one, from my second one. Put that in there. Drop that in. There we go. I want to take a peek. I want to take a peek. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 Y'all, look at my butter. I don't even got the stove on. It's just out here in the heat. Melting naturally. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. First, let's get the 
Look at our crab. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Delicioso. Look at the big one. Look at the big one. I don't know about the big one. The big one is kind of brownish. Digging in the mud. Whatever, you get an eight, bro. We'll test you out. We'll test you out indeed. Bowl. Let's get some of these corn. A cup of corn. Some of my potatoes up. Oh man, I can't. Almost forgot. The star of the show. Stone crab. Oh yes. Oh my god, yes. Okay, potatoes. Right there. A couple of potatoes. Oh, I forgot all about it. the stone crab. It's like one more in there somewhere. There she go. There she go. There you go. Okay. Mm. She eat a pretty one. Time has arrived. All right, y'all. Oh, man. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I'm excited to taste this food. Especially these stone crabs. Now, this one over here looks suspect. He was real brown looking. See that? In comparison to this one, right? See the difference? I don't know if I should eat this. We'll see what happens with this experiment. Alright, so first I want to try the stone crab because I never had stone crab before. Got my crab cutters here. Can't believe I'm eating something I caught it's fresh out the ocean myself. Stone crabs are like tough. So, uh, welcome to the mukbang section of the vlog. Okay, I need something to put my trash in. Here you go. All right, y'all, don't mind me. Do not mind me. Excited. Never tried stone crab before, but I'm about to try now. So how did y'all enjoy the vlog? It was a long one, right? Definitely a long one. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So that right there. Look at that. It's kind of whitewashed out. It's all right, though. Let's try it. Let's try it. First taste. I'm mean, No butter, no butter. First taste. Yes. Good. Mm. Mm. Yo, stone crab is it. First time I ever had it. Yo, that's delicious, bro. That is delicious. Mm. Anything in here? I need like 20 of these. at least so yeah y'all um all my gear pretty much bought at academy and whatnot i got a feeling like even if i would have did it at night towards the evening even better results yo 
This is so good. Yo, this is so good. It was worth it. It was worth it. The stone crab alone made it worth it. I ain't need no obey. It's butter. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. Focus, focus. There we go. Mmm. That's so good. The stone crab is fire. The stone crab is absolute fire. I ain't even lying. That's the good stuff right there. Mm. So yeah, this is turning into a mud bang. Yo, so how's y'all enjoy the vlog? It was crazy, right? The boy is wild. Like I said, man, I'm gonna be posting a lot more. And um mm, that's good. That's good. So yeah, get ready. Butter, get that butter, get that butter, marinate it like that. Yo, all right, some butter, that old bay, like that. Hold on, hold on. Mm, mm. Oh, oh my god, mm. Ah. Mm. so yeah, my objective to come out here today was to test out a lot of gear that I got and see if it worked there was some hiccups here and there but I kind of learned and I think I can get locked in on what to really do soon you know I think I'm um, got it I'll have even more success like at the pier I can go from so I'm going to start out Mmm. Back of that claw. So much meat. Oh, yes, yes. See, so, yeah, I'm going to try some pure crabbing. Some places in Bolivar. We got the old school, like, handheld crab net thing. So you just kind of tie a piece of chicken and throw it out and pull it in with a, and catch it with a net. Mmm. I'm going to try that. I'm going to hit some freshwater locations do camping. It's like Lake Conroe. Lake Houston. I don't know if they have camping spots up there, but if so, definitely want to try that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Alright. I know y'all want to see me smacking and eating. Ooh, ooh. So let me try this food crab. And let's go. Stone crab? Oh, there you mm. 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 God. I don't see how something so ugly could be so good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right, let me try this blue crab. I ain't had blue crab in a minute. Ooh. See that? See that? It's coming there. Let's see what blue crab tastes like. I ain't had it in a minute. Mm. Blue crab has like a natural seasoning to it. That's a really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, potato. Mm. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me try the leg. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, more content, y'all. Like I said, I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. I like to try new different things that y'all really ain't seen on YouTube in our area. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to stand out, be different. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I'm good. I'm good. All right, I got to finish this in this. If you made it to the end of this video, you're a real one. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I almost died of a heat stroke three times. 
So I'm posting every single minute of everything that happened throughout the course of this trip and this survival challenge. So if you like the video, thumbs up. If you like me, you want to see more content like I'm doing, subscribe and comment to your boy. Guess what? I'll respond to you know, comments. I'm not no bougie YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm bougie. I'm super bougie. Yeah, I'm super bougie. I'm up here eating stone crab legs on a pretty picnic thing. Whatever. Anyway, man, so um, thanks for coming through, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Comment below what y'all want to see next. If it's a good idea, I might rock with it. Peace.